Smart! 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 You, you need to go back home. Those ladies are so in your house, we're about to tear themselves apart before I left. So you need to go and sort them out. Okay. Listen, why, why don't we go home so okay? You and who? Go back where? Me and you. I don't want somebody to wipe my brain off. Oh, no. Not bore you well. They not bore you well. You, 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 you. You, 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 you be making sense, you be making sense to me. You have to tell me that after all these years, you want to dump me for another woman. Go to Smart. Hell. Go to hell and do whatever you want to do. But I'm telling you now, I, I, I never promised you marriage. Alright? We're just friends and friends we shall be. Smart, you me. never promised me marriage. I never promised you marriage. After all those years, after all those suitors that have been coming to me, that have been rejecting me, I have been with you, I have been beside you. You are now saying to me that like, you did not promise me marriage. Smart. You know, I thought you were smart because you had something upstairs. But obvious, you are dumb. There's nothing in that big head of yours. But you are mad. You are a big fool. You are an idiot. Wait, 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 wait. You are mad. Wait, 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 wait. Say that again. You are a fool. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, listen, you are a fool. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Smart. Look, listen, listen, you're my man. You, do, you don't need to do this now, huh? Why are you making your zen on what you're a public video call? Bro, huh? if you don't want blood to flow, tell this girl to get the hell out of my house. Come tell her now! Come on. Okay. Can you imagine? Because of this fool, my fiance came to this house and she left. Now I don't even know where she is. Her numbers are not going. Why did you allow her to sleep out in the first place? It's not because of her. She and Prisca turned my house to a battlefield. Coincidentally, my girl came in here and saw them fighting and she had to leave. Ask this girl, did I promise you marriage in any way? Did I propose to you? Ask your friend too. Ask him. If he did not promise me marriage, why would he take me around to his football games? To, to, to his club, everywhere he's going, he will take me with him. Okay. Why? No, no, no. Gentlemen, lady. Um, you, don't, you don't have sense. No, why? Why do you waste my time? No, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Listen, I think um, I'll prefer a solution to this situation. I beg you, maintain peace, okay? Huh? Nonsense. It's okay. No, 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 no. This one is a very wicked animal. He's very wicked. Okay. 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 God will punish you. My God will punish you. Punish you will you. never be happy in this life. You will never be happy. Too. If you want peace to win in this house, think, tell this girl to leave this house now. Tell her to go. I need her out of my house now. Victoria, were you not the one I asked to burn some hot water for me to take my bath? Victoria? Excuse me, Dr. Wisdom. Please, let me just sound this as a warning to you. Stop ordering me around. Stop disturbing my peace. Victoria. I deserve as much rest. Victoria! Ah, oh, excuse me, Mr. Man, or whatever you call yourself. You heard me well. See, both of us retired from the active service together, same time. So, I need rest. Ah, what's all this? Every time you be disturbing me, sending me around. You know, it's really a little thing. Don't you have legs and hands? Mom! Dad, what is it? Can't we have peace? Because of you guys. Shyama, could you just imagine? Your so-called father asking me around as if I'm his uh, common domestic home? Why would he be disturbing me, ordering me around every time? I need peace, please. Don't disturb me, Mr. Ma. Dad. No, no, Shyama, don't dad me. I don't need this popping J attitude. Now tell me, is it out of place for me to ask my wife for a simple errand as a husband of the house? Is that too much? But Dad, you knew I was around. All you needed to have done was just to call me and tell me whatever errand you want to be run and it, you have it done. That's it. Please, Chiyama. Just want your father to desist from ordering me around. I deserve as much rest as he does. Excuse me? Oh, really? So we are now rubbing shoulders. You are the, the man, and I am also the man in the house? Is that it? Victoria. Dr. Wisdom, Mr. Wisdom, whatever you call yourself, let me just take this categorically. I want you to know that I believe in gender equality. Did you hear that one? Gender equality. We are equal, so are every other people. So, don't, don't, don't just be ordering me around. Answer me this question. Would something happen to you if you had walked straight to the kitchen and poured yourself some water? 
Will it change you from being Mr. to Mrs. or from being a doctor to a Mr.? Will you have died? Will something wrong have happened to you? Please, Mr. Man, don't disturb me next time. Tell him. Let him not repeat it again. Mom! Victoria! Victoria! I just hope that this year feminist method of gender equality will be there to define the word husband when the time comes. Dad! The person you're talking to is already inside and yet you're still talking to her. Tell me what you want. I need some hot water to take my bath. Is that all? That's all. Consider it done. Now can you stop? Doctors are in this way. Don't also underestimate the fact that I am a husband. I married a woman. Good morning, sir. Oh, smart. Sir, when did you come into town? I came in yesterday, but before I could um, put myself together, it was it already. And I know your discipline about late visits, so I had to just uh, forget about coming yesterday. Oh, you have a nice intuitive spirit. You know my rules already. It yeah. shows that you make a good son-in-law. <laughs> ah, please sit down. Of course. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Right. Of course, yes, I will make a good son-in-law. So, um, how are you enjoying, enjoying your um, retirement? Ah, oh, well, uh, as you can see, uh, it's good to be home after 35 years of enslavement in public service. I'm here now and I'm enjoying these little foods. Yeah, I don't need to go to the market, to the labor market and get them. Yeah. And I'm still rearing dogs and um, some chicks, you know, so I, oh. I, I'm a handyman. Oh, I see, I see. You're doing very well, sir. I appreciate it. You're doing very well. I appreciate it. Ah. So what can I offer you? Ah, good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Um, Mr. Smart. Ma. Are you sure that I was supporting a marriage proposal to my daughter, Chu? Oh, hold on. Victoria, your narrative is a renos. As far as I'm concerned, Chioma is our daughter, not your Why daughter. Why is it okay, Mr. or Dr. Wisdom, whatever you call yourself? Hold it dear. Will you just shut, shut that thing you call your mouth? Let me just address this man's negligence of me. Of my person. Let me address him properly. Ma'am, um, I don't seem to understand what you're saying. I will just shut up. Or do you prefer I send you out of our compound? Uh, uh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. It's better you're sorry. Um, that's why I do it. Why both of you were exchanging please address? Did you bother to ask after me? I, I was actually getting to that before you stepped in. You know, I. Shut. I said, shut, shut it. Hold it. Hold your stupid, senseless, and ignoramus defense. Or I throw you out of our house. I'm sorry, ma'am. So sorry. It's better. It's better you are sorry. Let me now make it clear to you for you to know that, in as much as Chioma belongs to my husband and I, so do this house belongs to both of us. We have equal rights. Oh, no, 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 that's there. You're getting it wrong, Victoria. We do not have equal rights here. Know your watermark and stand there. You are my wife. I am the man of the house. You are a housewife. You know? No, 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 they had a little argument, but <laughs> I'm glad your father knows how to follow her anyway. Eh? So, um, my love, when are you coming to the city to see me? I don't understand. When are you coming to the city so that we can finalize our marriage plans? Hmm? I know how to move ahead. Well, I don't actually know the date or what to tell you right now because I don't know how to convince my parents about that. Very simple. It's very simple. 
Look for something to tell them. Maybe you tell them you're going for to submit an assignment in school. Very simple. Huh? You maneuver these things. You you know how to, to do deal with your parents. Huh? Tell them okay. something. Hmm? I'll see what I can do. Are you sure? Because I'll be waiting for you. I'll see what I can do. Ah. <laughs> it's alright, I trust you. I'll be waiting, alright? Meanwhile, I've got something for you inside the car. Really? Yes. Sit down, sit down. <laughs> Thank you. <Yeah. laughs> so how are you? I am fine. And you? How are you? You are not doing badly. So how is Dr. Wisdom and Lady, Lady Victoria? Everyone is fine. Trust yeah. me. <laughs> I like the way they are blending to the village lifestyle. Mm. It's not really easy to, to adapt. <laughs> yes, you can say that again. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> they were offered an opportunity for them to travel to America through a family friend. Guess what? They refused. You can say that again. Yes, I think they are beginning to enjoy the village life. That's thoughtful of them. <laughs> um, Chioma, my daughter, you know, um, uh, make yourself comfortable. Let me get some few things done inside. Mm. Mm? Mm, I hope Unki is around though. Uh, no, she stepped out with her mother to see a neighbor close by. Mm. So they'll be back soon. I said okay. you, you want to wait for her, you want to go. No. I'll wait for her. I'm here. Mm -hmm. I would have said, is this not your ma our family friend? <laughs> it's okay. So make yourself comfortable, okay? Thank you. All right, yeah. <laughs> come on. What are you doing? You have to go out all the way to get this drink from me. Well, of course. Before I left for the drink, we both agreed that you are a family member. Yes. Yes, no? we did. Uh, but not to an extent for you to go and get drink for me now. Uh, uh. So, my daughter, you amuse me. Okay, if I was as rich as your father, that, that would have been understandable. That means I would have stored some drinks inside the freezer. All I needed to do was go there, get one. But since I'm not, I had to go get one for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Please, it's out of the box. It's as if you're running errands for me. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to drink your malt. Hmm? Don't attach any importance to it. It's just my humble nature, okay? Thank you. Drink and wait for your friend. Huh? Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Yeah. You make me laugh. Wait, you are shouting because my husband went to buy you malt. <laughs> oh, wait until see him prepare food for this family. <laughs> yeah? Eh? <laughs> are you trying to say that Papa Kichi cooks? Cook? Cooking is the least thing he does in this house. I mean, my husband does house chores like eh? The father man is God sent. <laughs> you are really lucky to have such an honorable man as a husband. You can say that again. Udoka is such a peaceful man. He's loving. In fact, he's a father. He's everything to me. Hmm. <laughs> you know, I've been here for long. I mm. think I have to start going. Because I don't want to make or have issues with my parents. No problem. So please help me tell Nkechi that I can. All right. <laughs> please say me well to your parents. I will. <laughs> All right then. Okay. <laughs> bye. Yeah, bye. Thank you. Your father hosted me today like a princess. 
<laughs> Imagine him going all the way out to get a drink for me. <laughs> hey, Choma. My dad can even do more. That one you saw, it's nothing. My dad is not an arrogant person at all. That's what your mother said. Yes, sir. Oh, wow. That's so nice of him. At that age, he's that humble. Oh, may God lift him. Amen. You know, I believe that God has been favoring him through people's prayers. As a secretary in this community, he doesn't even allow that to get to his head. Wow. Nice work. Um, oh, my good friend. Smart came to see me. And he said he wants me to meet him up in the city. And how are you going to do that? Considering your parents and Awala. That's why I came to see you. I need you to cover up for me. How would that be possible? You know what? I'm running out of time. Let's talk. Not okay. Not okay. I will be the one to drop you over and use the car for my crucial meeting. Dr. Wisdom, he seems to be forgetting something here. Generally, it is ladies first before gentlemen. And I always go where they come. After all, I contributed 75% of the purchase price. Oh, Victoria, I've seen how fast your oversight can elude you. When this car was purchased, was it not about the time our family friend he could be traveled? And we agreed that we would assist him financially. Was it not our agreement that we split the responsibility initially? So what's this fog all about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you forgotten? Thank God you reminded me of that. Come into it. Are you not lucky to have an enterprising wife like me that shares in your family responsibilities? You should take your God for that. Victoria, I must be frank with you. I would have preferred to marry an illiterate who would respect me as her husband rather than to marry a fishwife nagging type like you. Me? I would have preferred ah! to... Dr. Wisdom, have you seen it? That is the reason I always maintain that you are an ungrateful bitch. You're a bitch. Other men out there would have aspired to have me as their wife. But here you are running your maggot wife. You, you know your maggot mouth. Oh, but running my khaki. My special khaki with. Victoria, give me that khaki right now. Give me the khaki. I will not. Victoria, please. Don't let me alone. If you let the khaki get at you, it's a brother somewhere, and your mother is not feeling me down with the khaki. My skin. I'm not stopping the feeling. Stop watching your people. Do not allow any form of intimidation from the opposite sex. You see, men, they always like to feel superior to us, the women folk. But, Mom, it's meant to be so. Because God created a woman out of a man. Says who? There is nothing wrong in God's creation. The book of Genesis made us to understand that God created them male and female. Therefore, they are all airborne. We are airborne. Mother, the Bible said that a woman should be submissive to her husband. Oh, have you forgotten that the same Bible was first to complement that by saying that the man should love the wife? Come to think of it. Is this Bible a sort of um, two-edged sword? Mother, 
The man is the head of a family, just like Christ is the head of church. Chioma, I don't have the strength to argue with you because I've already seen the spirit of defeatism in you. See, do not allow your humility to turn you to stupidity. Even as you are being proposed to smart, don't allow him to intimidate you. Yes. Don't allow him to useless you because if you allow men, they will useless you. Always remember that you are equal with smart. Men and women are equal. I've heard you, Mom. But could you at least live in peace with that? Even if it's for one day, for 24 hours, you could manage it, you know. Please, my daughter, do not allow any man to rubbish you or useless you. You hear about domestic violence here and there. Man killing his wife over film she excuses. Shioma, say no to that. Sue when possible, when necessary. Sue that person to court and prove your rights. Mother, please, can I go now? Yes, you can, but know the truth because it is only the truth that will set you free. Sue when necessary. Don't allow any man to intimidate you. Did you hear that? Shioma. Did you hear me? I should not allow you. Just look at it. Look at the car here. Had it been I allowed your father to intimidate me, he would have gone out with the car. But because I, Victoria, cannot be intimidated, and I know my right, I know that I have a poor right with my husband. That is the reason I was able to retain my key, and my car is here. No man will intimidate me. Oh my God. Yeah. There's something I want to tell you. What is it? There is American returning. And the guy has been disturbing me now. He said that he wants to marry me. Mm. Mm hmm. <laughs> well, that's a good head start. So, um, what did you tell him? You know, I can't say anything to him now. I have you. You're my baby, I have you, and I don't need any other man. Um, I just wanted to ask you, like, when are we going to get married? <coughs> mm. <coughs> um, well, um, thank you very much for that consideration, but I don't see us going any further than being just friends. Huh? Baby, what do you mean? What are you saying? Do you mean that um, I cannot be your wife? You cannot marry me after like six years of dating? No, that's not what I mean. I mean, I've never seen us in that light. I mean, walking down the aisle saying, yes, I do to you. <laughs> Come on. I think, I think we're better off as friends. Hmm? Stop saying these things. Look at me. So do you just see me as a friend and not to marry? Let's not argue about this thing. Okay? It's not in my power to decide if you're going to be my wife or not. Alright? Babe, we need this now. I need you now. I need you to tell me sweet things, appealing things, make me happy. I'll make you happy because I love you. Stop saying these things. Uh, hey, 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 babe. I think we should just enjoy the moment. All right? Flow with the tide. The time will tell. It's as simple as that. But this is the time now. There's no other time. This is the time now for us to do this. I love you, you know it. I love you so much. Okay, okay. Stop okay. saying these things, okay? I, it's, it's, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, right? Yeah. Um, why don't we go to the other room and talk about this? Mm? Okay. Yeah, so get this settled, you know. Okay, go Yo to the room, mm -hmm. make ourselves happy, and I believe that good news will come up or you're going to change. Your mind is stop saying those things, right? Maybe. <laughs> I love you. 
I love you too. All right, let's, let's, let's go. go. Mommy, I saw things. And I always do I wonder why you always giving me problems. What do you want from me and why do you expect me to sign that check? Because I need it to solve family's issue. Dr. Wisdom, you seem to be forgetting something here. It is your responsibility to take care of this family, not with our joint account. So the only solution here is for you to go to your personal account and withdraw the money you need. Or you bring another check, writing, adding the same amount that you need in equal proportion to mine. Uh, 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 Victoria, have you seen that this feminism has swept you into psychological malady? Why, why, why do you drive joy in rubbing shoulders with me? Can't you see the reason for the money? Dr. Wisdom, I don't want you to talk to me like that again, else I will sue you for domestic violence. Shama! You know all this in the Shama! And you know you will not call for it. Come! Come and listen to what the mother says. Just come! Calling her is not the solution. Yeah. Would you kindly warn your mother? To cut aside this check, let me use the money for your brother's taxes. Mom, sign it so he can meet up with my brother's request. Chuma, will you just shut up and allow your father to dwell in his foolishness? I will not sign that check because he's not supposed to send money to your brother through a joint account. But joint accounts, hands have decided to withdraw the money to solve joint family responsibility. And Dr. Wisdom, I said no. I am not going to sign the check. Come on, sit down. Sit. What an arrogant mother do you have? Chama, do you know that this family is in jeopardy because of your mother's callousness? I forgot. She's your wife. You've been living with her all this while, so I'm sure you know how to do it. Oh, no, 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 no. That's where you're getting it wrong. We've been living apart. We only get the chance of coming together per annum during our annual leave. That's it. I still insist that you know how to go about it. You've been tolerating her all this while. She is your wife. All right. She is my wife. Well, just for your information, if I go in there, I'm going to try fist on your mother so she will understand that I'm a man of this house. That's nothing but that. That's a mistake. That'll be the grievous mistake that you're going to ever make. You don't hate women. Oh, but she seems to be my fellow man. Watch me. You should be very happy for the kind of parents that you have. Your parents are very influential, wealthy, and very rich. <laughs> I don't uh, understand. Uh, uh, My sister, uh? you are the one who is lucky. At least you have peace in your life and in your family. <laughs> My dear Choma, imagine you having all of your demands met for me. <laughs> That's the opposite. My parents have to work, work really hard before they can even give me anything. <laughs> Why are still saying the same thing? Mm. Peace is paramount in life. Okay, you know what? Mm. Let's exchange. Come and have the money. Let me have the peace. <laughs> I need peace in my life. <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. You know, I think that's what we should do. <laughs> what is peace without money? It's just like a house abandoned by the owner for years. Of course, you know, the winds will grow. So, give me money and take peace. <laughs> you will not understand. Mm. Calm down. It's not like you. Look at you now. See what I'm wearing. You know, see me different. Look at your hair. But me. Mm. Full side. Nothing. Shingba. <laughs> mm. 
Gigi. Meanwhile, I'll be visiting Smart tomorrow. Mm. That means I'll have to come tomorrow. Yes, like we planned initially. My beautiful ladies, you know during our time, our mothers taught us to see men as our alphas and omegas. Unfortunately, most of my men that succumb to that are no longer alive. They are dead. But Mama, can I ask you a question? If not, why not? Feel free. We are in an interactive section this moment, so yeah. you can say whatever you want to say. Thank you, Mama. Mama, is it wrong for a woman to be submissive to her husband? Thank you for that question. Because I have been asking my mom the same question all this while. <laughs> Tradition and custom, my foot. All men and women. Yes, Mama, you're very correct. And that virtues of ours has actually kept our home in so much peace and happiness. We need this food. If what I want to do now in Jesus Christ, leave my clothes. Leave, leave my clothes. What are you doing in this house? What are you doing in this house? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing this here? This is my husband's house. My husband's to be house. This is my husband's to be house. What are you doing here? This is my What are you house. doing here? Go, go, go. Hey, hey, I want to kill hey, you there, babe, babe. Let's what go, is this guy doing here? Let's go, of our clothes. What's your problem? What do we know this nonsense? What, 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 what's this? Babe, so this is the idiot. This is the idiot that has been confusing you, my love. This thing. It's you that is an idiot for calling me names. Is he talking back at me? I don't even blame you. I don't blame you at all. I blame, I blame, I blame this thing that is here. That everything that you see is you enter. Well, it is shut up. You. Shut up right now. So you don't have respect for my presence. Huh? What's the meaning of this? Respect. Respect for who? For me, of course. I should give you respect for cheating on me. I don't understand. How? No, no, no. I, I, I don't get it. No, what are you talking? Cheating on you as what? As my lovely wedded wife or what? Is, is there something going on that I do not know about? No, 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 no. You tell me. Claiming ownership of a man that she's just trying to. Okay, will you shut shoot. your mouth? You see, you see. Will you shut up? Was I talking to you? You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of both of you. All right. I want you to out of my house now. Get out. I want you out of my house. You're asking me out of... What, 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 what do you mean by that? Get out. Get out of my house. Get out. Now. Get out. You, are you mad? Get out of my house before I do something very stupid. And you think I'm joking. It's not fair. It's not fair. Eh? Get out of my house. Get out of my house now. Get out. I'm not going anywhere. Don't push me. Don't make me do something I regret all my life. Now get out of my house now. Get out! Smart, you can do your worst. See this place? I'm not leaving this position. What is this? Until you tell me that each other will be in this house. I'm not going no. anywhere. Huh? I'm not going anywhere. Do you get my brain What did you say? I'm not going nowhere. Sorry. I'm not going nowhere. I'm... No, 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 say that again! I said I'm not going nowhere, you hear me? Uh, that was what you said before. Say it again now. No, don't no, just try it! I'm going nowhere. Do it. 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 Do but let's say, give or take, tomorrow afternoon we'll be back. Okay? Yes, Mama. I thank God you're into the system. Like I explained to you, we might get there and get to make some tests and some quiz and all that. Yes. Some assignments. We have to stay put to work on them. It's okay, there is no problem. Just take care of yourselves. And don't forget to give me a call when you get there. Okay? And please, Mom, don't be too harsh on that. Ah. 
You tell your father as well. Just put a call across to him. Tell him not to disturb me. Eh? I mean, it it doesn't sound as if I'm the troublemaker in this house. The only problem we are having is that your father has been stubborn. He has refused to accept my philosophy of uh, uh, gender equality. That is the only problem Let's we're having. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mama, later. Eh? Mama, later. Mama, take Bye. care. Bye. Bye. Take care. Respect is a reciprocal. Because this time I run no. Please, I want you to have this 5,000 Naira. Please. If not for you, I wouldn't have made it to the city. I don't understand you, Chima. Are you indirectly paying me for helping you? I'm not paying you, but you know how much my parents gave me for this trip. They gave me a whole lot. So this is for you. This is your own. Thank you for escorting me to the city. Hmm. Okay. I accept it. And thank you for your kind gesture. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Uh -huh. Remember to avoid any temptation from smarts. Make your one no gasso. I don't understand. What don't you understand? Okay. In case he wants to, mm -hmm. please try to play smart. In fact, tell him that you're in your period. I'm in my period, of course. Oh, you're in your period? Yes. <laughs> Works like that because my hand no deal. You know it's a secret. This thing. Be I careful. Know. Make your one no gasso. <laughs> you know your parents. I know. Victory. You are very stupid to question my position as the head of the family. You see, this is a foolish pride. It will lead you to an irrecoverable fall very soon. Very, very soon you will see it. Dr. Wisdom, you are very senseless and stupid. What? Yes. Oh, you think I'll allow you to cage me like you did to your late wife? Never. Not this time, not tomorrow, never, ever. It's not going to happen. I regret why we crossed path in the first place. Look at you talking about gender equality, yet you allowed my daughter to go back to school without my prior notice. I am her father, yet I was not notified about her departure. Are you not an idiot for doing that? <laughs> Dr. Wisdom, you are the idiot. Just tell me. No, no, no. Give me one reason why you would not, as in, regret marrying me. Give me one reason. I know what you know. So, there is no way you are going to frustrate or cheat me. It will never happen. You are not going to cage me. I found out the reason why your late wife died. It was because she was an illiterate. She allowed you to frustrate her because she doesn't know her right. It's not going to happen to me, Victoria. Never, ever. Mm. Her Imperial Majesty, Victoria. Oh, help me, please. She who must help be obeyed. Me. Yeah. Now you think you have arrived, and then you are now an indispensable soul. Let me tell you something. You see, this is your foolish pride. It will soon take you to a deep blue sea, and you will sink like Titanic ship. Very soon, you will see. Dr. Wisdom, go to the car and sit your dairy axe in there. That's the best place for you. Oh. Huh. Did I hear you threaten me? Mind you, next time you threaten me like that, I'm gonna see you to court. I'm not threatening. I know! I'm not threatening. Heaven must not wait. Sue me! That's what you are good at! Always going to cut. Very soon, I will go to that court to fight for divorce before you know it. Shameless and an Excalibur, the Wanton Demon. Go to court. Why were you not a lawyer? Every little thing you are going to cut. See me in court. That's your mantra. Yet you cannot perform your duty as a wife. That's who you are. You are an Excalibur, a demented one to go. That's who you are, Victoria. Dad, it's all for one and sad and shameful that you and mom are the ones frustrating my education. That is not nice. Uh, son, I am sorry 
for all the pains we've made you go through in school and not being able to meet up the financial requirements of your school. It's not I to blame. It's your mother here. How did I come into this now? David, you better warn your father not to mention my name again because I've already seen his plan, Jamie, to knock heads together. What gimmick are you talking about, Victoria? Did I not come to your presence and mellowed my personage like those in grottoes, saying prayers, asking that you can't sign the check? Let me withdraw the money and make it available for David for his thesis. What did you do? Like a Samian missus, you blatantly refused. Don't insult me. Don't call me names. Mind the words you chose. And did I not also ask you to add my own share to the check? Because it's a joint account. Oh yes. What did you do? You blatantly refused also. Mom, what are you saying? Did you just listen to yourself? That that should add the exact same amount I'm asking for. For you as well? Oh yes. Mom. Because it's your father's duty to train you, not ours, not mine. His personal duty. Does it make sense to you? Did you hear that? David, have you seen why we're always having these verbal fields? So if I am to withdraw a hundred thousand naira for you, I will also make available a hundred thousand naira for her own yeah. personal use. Yeah. The question is why? Why? Mom, why are you doing this to me? Why do you want to ruin my future? Mom, come on, I'm your son. Dad, what is all this? I'm, I'm just tired. Dr. Wisdom, you are trying very hard very hard to force words out of my mouth. And if you don't take time, I am going to spill the beans. Spill the beans for all I care, Victoria. Why are you waiting as if there is thunder in the sky? I want you to spill the beans right now. Heaven must not wait until you spill the beans. Spill it. What beans are you talking about? That's what, what is she saying? The only person that can introduce this bean we are talking about. Oh, Victoria, come Calm down. The devil is such a... Well, my friend. What do I owe this August visit? Because you cannot be seeing Igu walking about the street here and there, here and there. So tell me, what brought you? Udo, come, 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 man. You know, the communities, everybody gathered hands together and give you this title. Omudo Nkizizi. In this our community. As a peacemaker. And uh, by the grace of our ancestors, I have been trying. <laughs> Razi Maker, you're welcome. <laughs> Omudo, what brought me to your house? I came to report Aaron Ihedua to you. That man is looking for my trouble. Seriously. Okay, go. Okay, go. What, 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 what is it this time around? Is it, uh, is it that thing? I thank our ancestors that you are the secretary of this community. Yes. And you were there the day our king want me and him not to enter into that uh, 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 disputed land. Yes, I, I, you cannot be telling me that I was the, the secretary like you know, and I took the meetings. Is it not the, uh, the, 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 the council meeting, uh, meeting we had? As I'm talking to you now, Aaron and his wife, they are inside that land harvesting cassava. Zikini, I'll say this again. You are not serious. No, tell me, you are not serious. I'm very, very serious. I'm a co-op. I'm just giving you respect. I'm a tip of your
Smart! 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 You, you need to go back home. Those ladies are so in your house, we're about to tear themselves apart before I left. So you need to go and sort them out. Listen, why, why don't we go home so okay? You and who? Go back where? Me and you. I don't want anybody to wipe my brain cold. Nobody's going to wipe your brain cold. Come on. What are you talking about? Let's, let's just go I back. said they were about to tear themselves apart. Haven't you been listening to me? Don't worry about that, okay? They're not going to tear you apart. It's their business. So let's just go back home and talk about this. You've not been listening to me. Babe, please, let's go home and talk about this. They, they, they're not my business. I don't give a give a fuck about them. That's what we're here. All right, let's go home and talk about this, please. You, you don't understand me. I said they were they were they were boxing. They were. None of my business. Let's go home. All right? Are you sure babe, I should? Babe, 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 please, 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 no. Huh? We are not children here. We are not children here. Now listen to me, Aaron. Why did you go to the disputed land against the instruction of our judge in Arula? Uh, Weldo, I went there to harvest my cassava because I planted them. Yes. Aaron, you planted them. Yes. And so you now went into that land Stop only! After the traditional ruler insisted that you must not. Ezioha, when Ezioha is done with you, you will run up and down, you will not remember to carry your family. Tibudoka, eh? Let me tell you in case you don't know. I have long ago lost interest and confidence in Ezioha's judgment. Hmm. Ah, long time. So, except maybe he rethinks. Otherwise, me, I will take this matter to customary court. Aaron, let's go there. Eh? You foolish and, uh, uh, and shameless man. A very greedy man. That, that's what you are. So you are dragging my father's land with me, Abi. Aaron, let's go there. You will come back from that court with your face covered with shame. Nonsense, man, don't worry. I am disappointed. Mm. In him. Aaron, I am disappointed. This your heart must hear this. So go and prepare your case since you have decided not to respect the Ezioha and his cabinet. The community! The community. Look, you people, I must take you guys to the customary court. We shall meet at the customary court. Go to the court. We are coming. We will meet there. And you two of you, you are supporting him. You are supporting him. Go. We are waiting. We will come. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid Where of you. Where you are ready? I'm afraid, I'm afraid of you. I'm afraid you of you. You don't have to be you afraid of you. me. You see you. You see you. Dad, you owe me a duty of explanation. Why is mom always taking severe decisions when it comes to my education? But then if he's trauma, everything is fine. Uh, my son, David, I don't think that your mother has any personal issue, or should I say something we call the uh, discrepancies, you know? The problem your mother has is this her senseless and baseless philosophy of gender equality that has disturbed her mental faculty. That's the problem. Dad, I don't think this has anything to do with philosophy. Eh? I've long noticed that mom just hates me for no reason. What? Yes, and the reason for this is what everyone has just hidden from me. David, what did I hear you say? You must withdraw that statement. Why would you say your mother hates you? But dad, 
that is in all obvious. Ordinary pan wine tapas are comfortably training their children in the university. But then my educated parents are finding it hard to train me. Who is fooling who? Dad. A letter of apology. You must tender a letter of apology before we go to the bank tomorrow morning. A letter of apology. What did I say? A letter of apology. Aaron. Aaron of all people. I just can't believe it. I can't believe it that Aaron challenging the, 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 the authority of, 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 of his yoha. Speaking rudely to you yesterday. I was under pressure. Please, mom. Devil. This is the last time we're going to entertain this unruly act from you as parents. We will never, ever tolerate it again. I hope this is clear. Okay. Actually, Good. David, there is a secret. Yeah. I'm going to tell you about it. It might not be now. But believe me, I must tell you about it. Because your father here is actually getting on my nerves and I don't want it. I don't like it at all. You must learn how to control your tempest. You have been making things difficult for me as a retiree. The whole world is aware of this. Dr. Wisdom, you are the one causing confusion here because you have refused to accord me with equal rights. It is my right. But you are the same enemy of it. Ah. Well, there are rules traditionally. There is no way you and I can be on the same matrimonial wavelength. I am your husband. Hello, Her Imperial Majesty. Is that what you're saying? Okay. I have on that now. But let's see how it goes. Anyways. David. Mom. Because of your humility in begging me, I'll sign the check for you. Thank you so much, Mom. But after that? Mm -hmm. Your father takes the responsibility of training you because it is his duty. And to add to that, he is a man with traditional power. Mom, please, I'm begging you. This should not bring issue between you and dad. Besides, you guys have been living peacefully for years. Please. No, oh, no, 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 David. Point of correction. We have never been living peacefully together. In fact, this is the slightest opportunity I have living with your mother. Little did I know that this is who she is, that she is this stubborn. Your mother here is an imperialist. I've never had a chance of being together with her. Now she is showing me I a bitch black, and the dark side of her. Doctor Wisdom, you are getting on my nerves. Enough of it! You have not seen anything yet because you have refused to give me respect and equal rights. You cannot just sit on my right and expect me to be happy. I would not, never, you do not allow what gave you the infantry to stand up while I'm still talking. Victoria, you are my wife. How Aaron could challenge the order of Ezra? Who gave him the tenacity? The order? The gods? Eh? How? I don't understand. Well, this trend, if we allow it to continue, it will end up as a case study. And every other person will begin to toe the line. So we, we have to stop it right away. Bam! Uh, in fact, that will serve as a deterrent to others. <laughs> Who will challenge as or has others? Yes, no. I'm telling you. <clears throat> well, that notwithstanding, I think you sh we should go ahead and give it to a maker. 
give that the land to a maker. It belongs to him. Um, okay. Um, in that case, as the Isinze, which that I am, of course, I will take once I get the order from Ezra. Yes. I will give him the land straight ahead. Straight ahead. Yes. That's as, part, as soon as I get uh, his numbers uh, going through, no, that, that, that is the end of it. That's how it should be. And, and that's by the way, uh, as the chief. Secretary of the palace. Yeah. Are you done um, uh, <laughs> compiling the list of all the chieftaincies and uh, our days? Even before Ezeha traveled. Uh, I'm sure you must be working on the contract. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> is the Ichie Udoka. Yes. I trust you. That is my name. Yeah, the baby is growing every day, my dear. <laughs> hey, so what are we doing now? Are, you, are we going to drink and wine? Mam pam. Mam pam. Auntie. Auntie. Ah, Papa, I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. You're welcome. It seems um, Auntie is not around because I've been knocking and there's no response. Uh, we actually went to the farm together and um, my wife insisted that I return back uh, to the house because he doesn't want me to walk under the hot sun. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of love you share with your wife? It is very awesome. I've never seen it before. <laughs> well, there is no smoke without fire. Yes, you're right. And I guess you want to know the secret. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Any woman who wants peace in her home would want to know the secret. Definitely. Okay, so make yourself comfortable. Sit down, sit down. <laughs> Thank you. Sit down. Papa. This is a okay cola for you. Ah, what a game. Must you get something for me each time I come here? Uh, why? Shouldn't I give you one? Because I am more of a gift for you. Oh, that's right. And you are very intelligent. Now, remind me that you know here. Choma Wisdom. Not Choma Budoka. Yes. Oh. That's so funny, Papa. So, because I am not Choma Udoka, you have to offer me something each time that I come here. That is the idea. So anytime you come to this house, you are a visitor. And when you meet me, be rest assured that you will get cola from me. Okay. <laughs> you win. Yes. I will have it. I... <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You see, love must be unconditional. And for the love to pass or survive the test of time, no attachment. It must not be attached to anything. It must be free and straightforward. Mm. Are you trying to say that we should not consider a man's pocket felt wise? Yes, Educational right. background? Age? Yes. Before we can get married to a man? You're right. That means you're getting me. That's what I've been trying to say all the while. First of all, love is not bought. That is, you can't buy love. Love is in such a way that it gives itself. Mm. And all of a sudden, you now begin to feel the love inside of you. You are now helpless. Whatever you say, whatever you do, whatever you want to feel is all about love for such a person. You can't buy that. I'm getting your point. Yes. And when we talk about love being unconditional and you say oh, i want a very rich man what if the money finishes tomorrow the money vanishes you no longer enjoy the wealth you no longer go to dubai like you want to go you don't you don't go to you, you can't afford to to go to miami like you used to do before you know what's happening something happens are you going to be there that's the fact. I'm not going to be there. You're going to divorce him. That is true. And 
if you also consider the factor of the man being a very handsome man, rich man, wanting to know, and he has an accident tomorrow, and unfortunately may lose his leg or his hand or even an eye, what becomes of that man? The handsomeness is going to vanish. Totally vanish. You see? They are bringing in education. Education is good, but then two captains must not be in relation. They will always be quiet all the time. The love of my life. Hey, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. welcome. Have a good day. You're welcome. Mama, welcome. Thank you, my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <I'm back>. You're welcome. <laughs> welcome. Are you serious? You know, it's even good that you took him by surprise, my dear. I was there. I stood. I was embarrassed, frustrated to the point that I did not even know what else to do. I had to leave him. You had to leave your own fiance's house. Talk about the devil. That one that caused herself Jennifer. Hey. <laughs> the one that says that she's uh, his past wife. She for just tear me. Hey, that one embarrassed me. Are you serious? I was on my way leaving him. When he Wait. saw me, he stopped me and started talking to me. Wait, oh. could it be that the Jennifer called him when you left? My dear. It seems you've not been listening to me. Let me download it down. Let me load it down. Tell me, I'm listening. Let me give you the images. Another our smart girlfriend came to the house. I met Jennifer. Another one. Ah. It was a blowing things. Eh? Jesus. It took everywhere bust. Jesus. That's the between punches. 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 Ah. My dear. I ran for my life. Wait, are we talking about the same smarts? Hmm. Hey! That guy is smart. He's not even smart after all. Eh? Hey. My dear, it's good that you left though. It's good. You did the right thing. So, were you expecting me to go and be separating the fight? If they punch my eyes or blow on my eyes, I don't like my parents. And I went sure. to the city to, to look for smart in the meantime. Eh? Please do. Hey. I can't believe this. Your own fiance's house, my dear. Please come and see me off. I, 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 like, I'm so tired. Hey. Nobody's being me. Let's go so we can rest. Hey. Understand. Oh, really? So you have allowed your mother's arrogance and weird lifestyle to elude you. Choma, you are gone with the wind. Mark my word, you are gone with the wind already. Dad, I still don't understand you. You're speaking in parables. Oh, have I done something wrong? Then you go straight to the point and tell me. Imagine if you left. Oh, fine. When you left, you traveled to only God knows where. Did you tell me? While you were there, did you call me? The answer is no. You didn't do any of this. So you want me to keep mute with your insane character? Uh, no, with your numbskull attitude, I should keep mute Dad, and not to talk. Dad, I am sorry. I don't want to hear that word, sorry, because what you are doing, you are doing it on purpose. Mama, why are you wasting your time begging me? You don't have any need to apologize to your father because he deserves every word he considers as an insult. Hence, you have decided to sit on my rights in this house. Victoria, this your arrogance, this your pride will meet the water. 
But I don't want to disturb myself so much because I know I am the man. I married you here with my hard earned salary from civil service, but not to work. And see you, you small rat. I will go traditional. I must tell you that I am a spiritual. A little rat like you, I know what to do for you. That's not the problem. Uh, Chairman, my darling. Please go inside and relax your nerves. What? After toiling in school. You don't deserve to come here and face verbal violence. Just go inside and relax, okay? But for now, I must kick against it. How have to You are brushing me off my duty as a man. I'm talking to my daughter, and you are commanding her to go inside while I'm still talking. Shama! Um, Imagine the girl! Oh, let me listen. Are you, you now the man of the house, or I am the man of the house? Dr. Wisdom, a few seconds back. You called me a small rat. That's who you are. Okay. I will show you the power and the rocks of a small rat. Of course, you know what I'm capable of doing. It's not a matter of shouting. This time around, I'll have to give it to you back to back. Not a matter of seeing it cut. Victoria, I will show you that there is poison for rats like you. I'll show you that there is poison for rats like you to limit you from a nefarious attitude, nefarious function in this house. I am the man of the house, and there's nothing you can do about it. What arrogant nonsense. You cannot limit me from my responsibility. No way. You cannot do that. You cannot do it right now, not any other time. Smart, they're not born you well. They're not born you well. You, 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 you. You, 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 you even making sense, you even making sense to me. You to tell me that after all these years, you want to dump me for another woman. Smart. I'll go to hell and do whatever you want to do. But I'm telling you now, I, I, I never promised you marriage. All right? We're just friends and friends we shall be. Tell Smart, me you never promised me marriage. I never promised you marriage. After all those years, after all those suitors that have been coming to me, that have been rejecting me, I've been with you, I've been beside you. You are now saying to me that like, you did not promise me marriage. Smart. You know, I thought you were smart because you had something upstairs. But obvious, you are dumb. There's nothing in that big head of yours. But you are mad. You are a big fool. You are an idiot. Wait, 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 wait. You are mad. Wait, wait, wait. Say that again. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. You are a fool. Hey, wait, 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 smart. Listen, listen, you're my man. You, do, you don't need to do this now, huh? Why are you making your zen on what you're a public video call? Bro, huh? if you don't want blood to flow, tell this girl to get the hell out of my house. Tell her now! Come on. Can you imagine? Because of this fool, my fiance came to this house and she left. Now I don't even know where she is. Her numbers are not going. Why did you allow her sleep out in the first place? It's not because of her. She and Priska turned my house to a battlefield. Coincidentally, my girl came in here and saw them fighting and she had to leave. Ask this girl, did I promise you marriage in any way? Did I propose to you? Ask your friend too. Ask him. If he did not promise me marriage, why were he taking me around to his football games? To, to, to his club, everywhere he's going, he will take me with him. Okay. Why? Mm, gentlemen, lady, um, you, don't, you don't have sense. No way! Why do you waste my time? No, it's, don't. it's okay, it's okay, listen. I think um, I prefer a solution to this situation. I beg you, maintain peace, okay? Huh? Nonsense, it's okay. No, 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 don't tell me that. This boy is a very wicked animal. He's very wicked. Yeah, yeah. God will punish you. My God will punish you. Punish you, you will too. never be happy in this life. You will never be happy. If you want peace to reign in this house, think, tell this girl to leave this house now. Tell her to go. I need her out of my house now. You know what? Leave me, I will leave, but I will be back for you. Leave not just, I will be back for you. Get out, get out. Go to hell. Old bag. Smooth. <laughs> that lady sounds annoyed, alright? You don't you have to call her back and apologize to her. Don't underestimate the power of a lady. Man, stop sound stop sounding like a coward. What do you mean by that? Eh? She can go to hell. I never promised the marriage. All right. So what, what, what are you telling me? No, my mouth. All right. The relationship issues. All right. Deal with it. I'm all upset. My own. That lady sounds dangerous. Is she dangerous? Call her stop. Right. Stop sounding like one coward. What's your problem? Sounds dangerous. What, what do you mean by that? So because she sounds dangerous, I should, I should be scared or I should be shaking. Never underestimate the power of a lady. Forget that nonsense. <laughs> call her boy right now. It's not the playboy. <laughs> <laughs> Come to my house and you want to ruin my life. 
go come to take the boy, what's up with you? You just laid that lady. Look at me, you push it down. I'm done with that. That guy. I'm not ready for that. There's no problem. Why should you shout at me like this? Forget about it. Let's talk. Um, it's in there. <laughs> and yes. um, it's there, Udoka. <laughs> Doctor. Uh, On the way, I say, but if you do that, you cool, can madonna know. You can madonna cool, could they then know? Enjoy the coin. <laughs> you are truly the son of the soil. <laughs> Good. Mm. As the Isinze, mm -hmm. I have the authority yes. to open the wine, isn't oh. it? Oh, go ahead. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Mm. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. Sit yourselves. Okay. <laughs> Look at the body. Don't let it's all, it's all, it's all we should go now. Oh, shit. That's, that's the procedure. <laughs> you heard the sound? You heard the sound? Yes. This is it. Dr. Wisdom, you see? Yeah. Of all the times you have sojourned in the city, you are still very much abreast with our culture Why and tradition. Why won't <laughs> <laughs> Why won't that? Wow, hey, this is good. Oh. Mm. This is lovely. Mm. You see, this is not the illicit Google that we normally take around. Oh, no. We can see this is a foreign wine. Look it's tasting it. nice. Look at the color. <laughs> look at the color. Just look at. Oh, just it's free. Hi. Be safe. <clears throat> Hi. Nah, mm. okay, yeah. Huh? Yes. Hmm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's the name again? You call it uh, Konya. Ko Ko yeah. <laughs> hey, it is not Ogogoro. Hey, hey. This is not the illicit Ogogoro that we normally take. See, look at the way his skin is uh, <laughs> shining, fresh, looking fresh. <laughs> good thing yeah. is good. Not do those Ogogoro that we normally take that make us look older than our age. <laughs> Doctor Wisdom, you see, uh -huh. good thing is good. Yes. And I can see if I continue to drink this. If I continue to drink this con con ya, eh? <laughs> in the next one month I will look like Koimbo. <laughs> <laughs> um okay now I think um Doctor Wisdom. Oh, that right. we don't forget what brought us yes. here because of your con <laughs> yeah. Can I call no bionya? Is it that? <laughs> Is it Doctor Wisdom? We we were here in respect of uh, the chief tensu matter. Right. Yes, um, if I may ask, please, can you tell your wife to excuse us? Uh, yes, because this is a meeting for men yeah. only. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. At the instance of the Enzi hmm? uh, 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 That's not a problem. Uh, excuse me for a moment. It's all right. <laughs> oh, well, sweetheart, uh, please, you will have to excuse us. These are um, chiefs from Ezoha. It's all about uh, traditional matters. So we would like to talk, uh, you know, in more concise way. <laughs> that's it. All right. So uh, that is taken care of. <laughs> Doctor Wisdom, if you don't mind, it's better you respect yourself. Don't just start what you will not finish. Else, you will not like it from me. You will not like my reactions. Um, <laughs> this is, um, as you can see, my husband and I will share things equally. So, um, let's hear why you were sent by Izoha. Um, uh, no, 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 no. You see, um, Madam Wisdom, our tradition for peace starts. Yeah, you, you need to excuse us if you don't mind, please. Yes. Oh, 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 so it's all right. Uh, um, in that case, sorry for my choice of words. Get out of our compound now. Excuse me, Victoria. I said, get out! No, 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 you don't need to talk to them rudely. These are men, the cabinet members from Ezoha. You, you don't talk to them rudely, okay? Dr. Wisdom, you're just provoking me and you're getting on my nerves. You're getting on my nerves and I don't like it. Victoria Hodge. Why would this man take you most superior to me? Why? 
Oh, sorry, it's a. Uh, do, do not take this to heart. I, I, we're just trying to streamline uh, some intellectual uh, 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 mainstream. You know, there's a term called matrimonial agama. My, my elders, please, I, I, I don't want you to take, to take to heart what my wife just displayed. I, I can tell you this with all sincerity. She has not been the best of her mood since morning. I, I, you know me, I will fix this. Udoka, of course you know me. When I say I will fix, I will fix. Um, right. You see, Dr. Wisdom, I don't know if your wife too much education has have made her lose the sense of our tradition. Hey. You had to see the way she was shouting. Go, go, go. Are you sure she's not taking? And I hope you have not allowed yourself to be to, to, to be under her roof. Oh, please. With all respect, can we expunge this my matrimony affairs and then go straight to the reason you are here in the first um, place? Subadro, it's okay. Please, um, let's the, just expunge. The reason why we are here is that Ezo ask us to come and see you and to inform you that the community have decided to give you chieftaincy title yes that's why we are here yes and your wife is for your and for your meritorious uh, contribution and uh, accompl accomplishment yes to, you know to the custom and tradition of this of this our community with okay mm -hmm. come on thank you <laughs> Thank you. This is a memorable honor. Yes. In fact, I am enthused. I must tell you this with all sincerity. <laughs> and my sincere appreciation goes to His Royal Majesty. Eh? <laughs> right? You see, I, I, I will come, you know, to you know, give him feedback in no distant time. I mean, yeah, the no problem, right? Yeah. So I, I will appreciate this very well. So very soon, I'm going to do away with this. I replace it with the recap. <laughs> Who am I? Oh my! Oh my! Uh, um, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, 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 slow down. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> I'm Mugano, happy. We 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 so much appreciate the entertainment you give us. Oh, in your house. It's, a, it's called a token. <laughs> yes. it's nothing. Okay, at that point uh, we have to be on our leave. Uh, it's all right. That that drink. Cognac. Yeah. <laughs> I love that drink. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Because of your work, I couldn't carry it. Oh, it's okay. Nah, it's reserved for me. Ah, uh, it's okay. <laughs> let me just, uh, uh, let me just throw some foods. Yes, we call it first food for. Oh, oh no. that's interesting. This man, too much grammar. Eh? That's the way. Hey. That's the way. It is. That is Doctor Wisdom. <laughs> you know, when I when I was too in Lomé, uh, you know, I served uh, the government of Lomé very peacefully. Doctor Wisdom. What did those lousy, dairy men come to do? Victoria, you know I called you right now. You better shut that your mouth up. Imagine you referring to first class chiefs as dairy men. Very soon, you will earn yourself a royal curse. Bet me. Let me just pretend as if I did not hear what he said. I just want you to warn those dairy looking men not to step their wretched legs into this compound again to talk to me in a disrespectful manner because I am not in their stupid class. I'm not in the same class with them. They're stupid. Pity. You think every man is like me that you've been treated with ignominiously without respect, without fear. Oh no, those men you refer to as dirty men are capable of, you know, defining and deciding your fate in this community, willy-nilly. Oh my God. Just listen to yourself. You're, you're just stupid, worthless, senseless, and what other word would I say? You're an idiot for saying that. Who is that idiot? Who is that stupid man that has the right to decide my fate? If not God Almighty, even the governor of this state has no right to do that. 
not to talk of those senseless, worthless, and local errand men. Just listen to yourself. Uh, Imperial Majesty. Oh, yeah. Very soon, you are going to swim inside a ditch. And I, Dr. Wisdom, won't be there to save you. Ah, no, no. It seems you are trying to forget something. Let me remind you that anyone that tries any nonsense with me will earn himself or herself a court case because I will not hesitate to sue the person. That drink is so sweet. Eh? I wish I can be drinking that kind of drink. See the color looks like this. Konya or Konya. Konya. <laughs> Wait, oh. um, it looks like uh, in Wisdom House, the captain of that house is his wife. Because of the way she behaves. <laughs> what do you expect? A woman who is so educated and they learned her family. They are so rich. They are, she came from a very wealthy family. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was why she walked her way to retire at the exact time that her husband retires. Oh, Waranya, too much. Imagine a woman <laughs> that's cross when she wants to urinate. She was crossing her leg, crossing her leg before Red, Red, Red Chief Cap of this kingdom. No it's respect, no nothing at all. Eh? It, and it's not as if she's from another kindred or kingdom. She's from this our community. She knows our doors and don't. Eh? Yet. Ha. Hmm. Hmm. Um. I think such a woman will involve her. Will involve her to get into trouble. So Ezioha will now invite her. And we are very sure that in the presence of Ezioha. She will also be crossing her leg, crossing her leg, and she will fall into the trap. Then the punishment she deserves, she gets it. Um, Zeudoka. Mm. That woman likes trouble a lot, too, the way <laughs> what I heard. Mm -hmm. uh, and she likes going to court, and before you know it, she will sue the person. So my hand, I don't come and open my drop here. This is, uh, it is because she has not met her match. Abi? Yes, because someday the lawyer the judge, everybody in that court, when she meets her match, everybody, they will run away. I can you see her? Can they please? <laughs> <laughs> Not to me, swear, 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 uh, swear. Well, I, I was watching you the way you were drinking that, uh, what's uh, the name of that drink? I will again? go back. Oh, what's the name of that? Konya. I will go. You. How could you be this heartless? How could you be this heartless and wicked at the same time? I know I hurt you, yes. Well, at least take your calls to tell me where you are. What's all this? Did you actually walk into my compound to say Elena? Are you crazy? I'm sure my parents were around. Is this how you're going to be talking to me? I don't care! I don't bloody care! Alright? Do you know what I passed through searching for you everywhere in the city? Do you? You're a very heartless man. You're the one who is wicked. Do you know what I went to come into the city to look for you? Do you? Listen, I'm sorry, okay? I am truly sorry. My old boss was as a result of my, my anger. I'm, I I'm don't sorry. care. You are a beast and a devil in cunt. Now leave me out. Get out of my compound. Are you seriously asking Get out. Give me my own. I go give you your own. If you give me my right to you, I go give you your own. Give me my own, I go give you your own. If you give me my right to you, I go give you your own. Mm. Doctor Wisdom, but this is you promised telling me why those palace chiefs you are here the other time, but up till now you've not said anything about it. So. Would you mind spilling it out now? So, suddenly you are now interested to know their mission after 
you know, referring to them as dirty chiefs, suddenly you are interested. Dr. Wisdom, have you seen the reason why I always refer to you as an educated illiterate? Yeah. You went through the university. You passed through it, but you did not allow the university to pass through you. You are antisocial. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Bravo! Bravo! Her Imperial Majesty, oh, come Victoria. Come. Cool. Yeah. You, that is not an antisocial individual and haven't allowed the university to go through you, is that why you are always arrogant and stupid? You only address and qualify me with such adjectives because I refused to be intimidated by you or you allowing you to frustrate me, thereby sending me to my early grave just like you did to your late wife. You, Victoria, the youth accuse me of being responsible to what happened to my first wife. You are a snitch. I tell you most sincerely, you are a blackmailer, a cheap one at that. <laughs> you weren't expecting this from me, all right? We are you? Oh, Dr. Wisdom, you see, Victoria is wiser than you. Yeah, so. There is no time I will allow you to intimidate me or frustrate me. I will, the, the, the gap between us is too long. There is nothing you will do to come near to me. So, and that is the reason, that is what is biting you on your skin. And very soon you will be out there in the street because you will be mad. You remove your clothes and run mad in the streets. Victoria, you are nothing but a numbskull. Oh. That's always done. You are a local network witch. You are a knee camp. That's oh, who you are. You are a black sweat lie. You are a scallywag. That's who you are. Entity. You're stupid, you are senseless, but a hey, knocking fish wipe. Yeah, that is what you are. You will be reduced to the size and of an ant. And I will reduce you to nothing you because you, you, you there is no way that they can capitalize you. Show me. Why is your face this way? What happened? I don't think I can go ahead with the marriage arrangements anymore. Why would you be so fast to take that decision on a marriage proposal both families have agreed on and some certain uh, uh, marriage ritual performed? Why? Father, that's because if I get married to that beast that calls himself smart, I will be living in agony and regret for the rest of my life. Of course, nothing way. like that will happen because I, as your mother, will not allow it to happen in my lifetime. You see, that's Matt. He's a son of a bitch to make you feel this way. Who is he? Why would he try to frustrate and intimidate my daughter? Victoria, why are you being irrational? Why would you make such judgment you know, when you don't even know nothing about this? I must act fast and intervene for my daughter at this early stage because you men are evil. Mother, mm. hold your peace. I made the pronouncement and I can as well cancel it. Oh good, tell that to your mother. She is the Chief Justice of the Federation, a woman whose mantra is meet me in court. <laughs> Look at her. That's her wisdom. I enjoyed the accolades. Had it been your former mother or father-in-law had stood up at the right time at the initial stage of your intimidation, your first wife would not have died in cold blood. What? Mother, did I just hear you say uh, first wife? Oh yes. David's mother, your father here, killed her. Victoria, the day of reckoning is fast approaching. You prove that I was the one who is responsible for my first wife's death. The amber of discord that you have been fanning, you'll be swept inside abyss. 
The Magadam Bridge is coming and you will be eluded. But Dr. Wisdom, I am not afraid of you. I am fully prepared for you. Yes, and I'll make sure I see you to court. And make sure that you spend the rest of your miserable life in Damn it! And you will be glad to the dead! You die! But as soon as you will not go to and because I was wife and the wife and that was how she got to kill you! I don't care if you give me any time! Why? Because I'm not going to do it! You don't have any time 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 to do it! You're welcome. <laughs> As you can see, I'm giving it to him hot hot. He's even begging for help. Eh? Are you are you sure of that? Uh huh. I'll be winning her. I'll be winning. Okay, between the two of us, tell me who who, who is under pressure now. I can't tell. The truth is that both of you are happy. Mm. So I think nobody is losing and nobody is winning. Shoma, you are a very good judge. It's a drug game. <laughs> no, not a drug game. It was cis two. And even that two you had, it was just messy of just that you are my Valentine love. <laughs> That's why he's saying it. Right. Choma, <laughs> look, my love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Am I not still your baby? Of course, you remain my baby. But <laughs> accept that I want you. That's what's important. <laughs> so, Mama, you mean Papa has been winning you to all this while. Don't even go there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Choma, please sit down. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Mia. Yeah. Huh? This food is really delicious. I'm glad you like it. I must have spent a fortune to prepare it. <laughs> Very fortune. What would my dad say that kind of money to give me? Mm. I don't use bonga and crayfish. Not too much, yo. That's all. That's all. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are really blessed. You don't even know what you have. I understand you. <laughs> what do you mean? The kind of love your mother and your father share together. It's not like my house. Do you know that each time I come here, I find peace? My house, there is a wall. Choma, please enjoy your food. We'll talk about that later. Talk about what later? Hmm. When my mother has refused to obey my father's authority, she wants to drag everything with my father. I think you should allow them be. If they haven't killed themselves since, it's not now they will kill themselves. They've been living together since then. Everything will be fine. I'm beginning to go into depression. Depression? Oh, please. I think you're too young to start talking about depression. I don't have peace from the people around me. Not even my parents. Not even from smart. Smart? Is it not the same smart that bribed me to intercede on the matter? Do you remember how my ex-boyfriend treated me, right? You mean Onyeka? He treated me like a pure slave. Why should we never come by this time? God. I'm hungry to go keep a single, I swear to God. Uh -uh. Mama, I know the pick call now. Show my why now. I thought the food I brought from you yesterday would have lasted to this morning. Yes. But mama, you know, I don't have kerosene in my store. And I don't get money. And she am not going to bring me to ask me for money. So the soup for this world. Now that you have starved yourself the whole day, has it not amounted to pennywise pound foolish? I swear. 
She your mom my life giver. <laughs> oh, you stop flattering me. Eh? Why would you be calling me your life giver? Am I God that gives life? See, ne, eh, you see, as long as this life they consign, eh, ne, you deserve any kind of word who I call you. <laughs> you now my life giver. I swear. Okay, okay, okay. Oye. It is not called life giver. It is called caregiver. But God would have provided you another caregiver if I'm not here for you. Na lie. Na lie. See, eh, show me. No woman, one of another woman, eh, would have been like you. Mm, they look at you now. You, you get heart of God. Eh? See me. Which kind lady we supposed to love a person like me? I'm not fan. Poor boy. <laughs> mm, child. Okay, I said. I'm your destiny helper. Eh, uh, you know my. See, anywhere where you want me, I stand there. Eh? I go stand, shout them, say, eh, trauma, now my destiny helper. <laughs> oh my god. Stop it. Are you out of your mind? Are you trying to force me into having sex with you? Yeah, which kind of nonsense uh, 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 question is that? Eh? Do you expect me to be watching you like television? Now nah, I feel this now. Wow. How can I thought we had an agreement. No sexual intercourse. Which kind of nonsense agreement be that? Now which kind of nonsense agreement be that? Ne? I, see, I'm a woman be my feeling. Come on now. Eh? No, but I can't do it. I have to go. Boom. <laughs> Surprised about what you're telling me now. You didn't tell me that you went as far as giving Onyeka money. My dear, I even bought clothes for him. What? I went as far as convincing our barrister, our family barrister, to be able to recover a land for him. But how were you able to convince the barrister to offer the service for free? It wasn't really for free. I have suffered from that guy. Please tell me. Her ears are itching. I had to tell our family barrister that he was a friend that has been intimidated by the uncle over a piece of land that was left by his late father. And that was how he was able to recover the land back. Oh my God. And upon all the help that you rendered to him, he still betrayed you. And it brought daylight. You know, sometimes I ask myself if I'll ever be loved by a real man. Because all I've ever gotten is betrayal. Onyeka almost raped me. Now I'm smart. Wisdom. There is no way you are going to take a chieftaincy title and expect me. Victoria to be your lover. Hmm. It's not going to happen. It's either they give me a chieftaincy title as well or not. That's fine. There's no way you're going to maneuver the tradition. Not at all. Because you are fighting for gender equality. You cannot maneuver the tradition. You see. It's time we have to change some certain narratives in your tradition and norms. This taking women as a second class citizen and men as a first class citizen. If they don't stop it, the war will be endless. Mark my words. <laughs> Victoria. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
It's high time you stopped this feminist malady. Let it end with you here, yeah? because if you make it public, I bet you you'll be ostracized by the community. Just mark it. <laughs> Let me just pretend as if I did not hear what you just said. Because you, Dr. Wisdom, you are not a stranger in my life. You know what I can do and the extent I can go for anything. As for your AZ, your king, your so-called king, if he tries anything stupid, I will make sure I seal him and his entire cabinet and nothing will happen. I you know what it means when I do that. Just sit your nagging ass where it is. Because it's not nothing about tradition, it's just returned. My piece of advice, if you want to live and enjoy your retirement benefits, don't try the traditional institution for your own good. Do you think I fear your tradition or your customs? Does it look like I care? This is not all about Dr. Wisdom. You're facing the community. I still believe in gender equality. No first class citizen, no second class. We are L, L1. Maybe you take that to somewhere like Queen's English. Maybe you take it to England. This is Africa. I'm talking about your so-called custom and traditions. You can write your own history. This is our history. And I'm here to change it. You cannot change it, because no one has ever done that. Watch me. I see what will happen. I have finished watching you. You will know nothing, rather than what you're seeing here in my own house. This chapter is just beginning. The chapter is ended as far as Dr. Wisdom is concerned. You've been dozing on you in this house with the slippage things you do that have been tolerated. But you see this one, I am not going to tolerate it. Right? I want you to tell me why you decline smile. You fancy. Father, I am no longer in love with him. Excuse me? Have you gone gaggers? Were you not the one who accepted his marriage proposal and his people started the marriage formalities? Why would you turn down right now? Chama, listen to me. I wouldn't want you to truncate, jeopardize, and tarnish my image in this community. Is he smart? You must marry him because he has gone far in the marriage ritual. Do you hear me? Girl, I'm sorry, I cannot. I can't go ahead with that marriage. Oh. What is that? I have a hard to. I had what you said. Now I want you to bear in mind that as my parents forced me into marrying you, <laughs> that will not repeat itself where my daughter is. I'm saying that Chioma is my daughter and I've decided that she will marry smart and that's final. Then be ready because I'm going to sue you for child abuse and marriage enforcement on my daughter. Oh yes, why would you as enforce her into marrying someone that she doesn't love? Nah, go in and rest. Don't mind your father. Chioma, if you move an inch, I am going to do the unimaginable. And Shama, said, go inside, not listen to you. You must remain rooted until I say otherwise. Okay, in that case, there is no problem. In one of two ways, you choose one. Is that that she goes inside or you go? Well, I, I wouldn't like to sit here and listen to your mother because I know she's a small rat. I'm going inside there to reinforce. And by the time I come mm -hmm. back, she won't be sitting here comfortably. Let me go inside. That's the language of a loser. You will see. Indirectly, you have chosen to leave. So, my dear, your father, Dr. Wisdom, would have stayed here to carry out his threat. He would have seen what will happen to him. I mean, why will he try to force you into marrying someone that you don't love? Why? It's okay. Thank God he didn't hit you out of anger. As in, Hit me? Me, Victoria, out of anger? For what? Ah, that would have been the end of his freedom in this life. 
he would have wasted his useless life in the prisons awaiting trials. Anyway, that's by the way. Mother, please. Okay. You guys are driving me nuts in this family, seriously. You and father. Always having issues. Will you shut, shut up? Why will you say that? You're the cause of this problem now. Now you are, you are saying that you are driving you nuts. Um, why did you call off your relationship with Smart? Mother, Smart is a womanizer. He's a playboy. I can't marry a man like him. Um, a playboy, womanizer. Did you see him making out with any lady? With your own eyes? No, um, I... I, I, or uh, have you started listening to gossips lately? Thank God you are here, Chris. Oh my God. What's wrong with your friend? I've been knocking this door for hours. Your friend refused to open this door for me. I know he's inside. Look, um, it does not actually come to this, okay? Look, you not come to name callings and murderous attack. Understand, we can resolve this and be careful. And make it believe. Chris, how? Do you know how many times I've been calling him? When I was coming here, I was calling his phone countless times, he refused to blink. And I know he's inside this house with, with a woman. Uh, Chris, I, Chris, when he's inside this house with a woman, come on, sir, Chris! I disagree with that. He's not with a woman, okay? He's not with a woman. See, as I said before, we're going to resolve this, okay? Just, just calm, be calm, be patient, okay? Huh? So, and that reminds me, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Um, I want to ask you something. Chris in any way promise you marriage or something? Um, well, by immigration and application, yes. But orally, no. But do you know that every time a suitor comes my way, I will tell your friend. Every time. And then he will just nod his head and then he will say that, okay, we should just be together. And you know that I love your, your friend so much. I cannot leave him for any other person. Hey, it's okay. Um, wait, but what you're trying to tell me is that Chris is aware of all your suitors and yet he discourages from marrying any of them? Yes. Yes, and I, I, I want to assure you that this fool is not going to leave me like this. I'm not going to be a lot and allow him to marry another woman. Chris, I'm not going to allow you, Chris! Jimmy, listen, it's okay, it's okay. You know what? Like I said before, it's okay. Everything will be okay. You know I'm his friend. I will talk to him on your behalf, okay? Trust me, he's going to change his mind, okay? Talk to him for me. Sure, I will. By saying this, I know that you're a very reasonable person. And you know that I love your friend so much. Please talk to him. How will you? This idiot cannot leave me like this. He cannot do this to me after six years. Sweetheart, you can't be calling him here. Don't worry. I'll show you. I'll talk to you. You guys will come in, okay? okay. Right, just calm yourself, all right? All right. Thank right you. I'll see you later. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Just, I'll talk to you. Okay. All right? Yeah? All right, thank Take you. Take care of yourself. All right? By the way, you look gorgeous. Um, yeah, I don't really understand this. The thing is that, but at least he should have at least opened the door for her, no? At least he know I didn't go to work. So I'll put an end to her madness. You know how this girl is, you know how she gets angry, that's a problem, man. I didn't want her to come in here and unleash her rats in this house. She will bring down the roof. That girl is the daughter of Jezebel, bro. Come on now, what's up with you, huh? It's not why you discourage her from her six shooters that were approaching out the world. Now, apart from her anger issues, that girl is a beast in bed. I mean, she's the real deal, bro. I'm, I'm telling you, from the depths of my heart. Hmm? I guess you lost the flesh there. Hmm? Maybe. Oh, so how did you do it? You know you want to get married to Chona. Once Chona moves into the house as my wife, hmm. give me a month. I will pack out. Huh? I will. So what you're trying to say is that um, definitely Jennifer will not be a true, put that tread to rest, right? Of course. Uh, well, if you say so, 
in terms of, you know, you're the game planner, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So I'm worried about that job I was telling you about. Yeah. Wow. How long have you been waiting? You've been watching me work. I've been watching you for a long time, and I can say that you're quite energetic. <laughs> Uh, I think you're flattering me here. I'm not flattering you. I'm an old man. There's nothing I can do to... <laughs> That's <laughs> do, not I can't true. do more than this. <laughs> but you are working like a man of 20 years. Oh, well, what can I do? What can I do? <laughs> so, <sighs> where is uh, Mama Kechi and Kechi? Uh, she was here. We came together, but she had to leave early enough to go check on Kechi, who is not feeling too well. Oh, <laughs> it's a pity. <laughs> ah, okay. I got something for you. Because something that will be helping you with your work. At least you have some energy. This is cook. <laughs> you know too much sugar is not good for an old man like me. <laughs> uh, but, Komo, you make a very good wife. Mm -hmm. You yes. should be going to the church all the time. Mm -hmm. Thanking God for giving you a woman like me. Oh. <laughs> you like it, right? I like it. I really needed it because my energy was was sad. Mm. <laughs> ah, thank you so much. Let me hold this for you. Okay, thank you. You want me to share it? Yes. <laughs> okay. You're sweeter. It looks like uh, they even put chocolate. <laughs> this one is sweeter than this one. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. 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 Oh. You need it. Yes. I need it. Mm. I'm beginning to feel something. Um, well, 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 well. I don't want to say I am on your defense and examination. Thank you, Tommy. But then I'm not happy with you. Why? What did I do? Come on, I'm your only brother. How come you can't call me on the phone to exchange pleasantries? It's not nice. I'm really sorry about that. But you know how mom and dad's quarrel used to make someone go insane in this house? Yeah, you're right about that. The last time I visited for my project, it was a tug of war between them. To the extent that mom insisted that the dad has to input the same amount I was asking for, for her as well. Imagine that. No, you're joking. No, I'm being serious. Same amount? Yeah. That's not even the worst case scenario. Mom revealed an ugly secret that day. I was shocked to my bone. And you think I don't know about it? <laughs> Seriously? That we are half brothers and half sister? Yeah. Then tell me, we shouldn't let that come between us, right? Of course, it wouldn't. So brother and sister forever? Forever. Come on, you know I love you. <laughs> mm, I actually missed you and I have a lot of catching up. Oh, really? Mm, on those, you know? Uh, my son, I must uh, tell you that I'm enthused, you know, to see that today you are a graduate. Very soon your sister here will also become a graduate too. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dad. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a gradual process and we owe you and Mom much appreciation. Thank you so much for everything you've done. Thank you. And so. we can't wait to start paying you and mom back in due time. Yeah. May you continue to live long for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, amen. I'm happy that even my beautiful daughter here is wishing me well. Yes, <laughs> that, of course. Are you not our father? Oh, you know, before now, I used to think that your mother is walking on your psyche to hit we come of it, Father. We are adults. We've come of age, old enough to take care of ourselves. 
and we know what is good and what is bad. That, well, as Choma rightly said, mm. we are grown. So anything that happens now, it will just be us looking like fools and we are not. Well, it's a thing of joy to know that uh, I have been reassured that my tomorrow is promised. Thank you very much, my children. Thank you. Thank you. That you're welcome. All right. Having come this far, um, Choma, I think it is high time you told your brother and I why you exchanged your relationship with Smart. It's very important. Um, Father, yes. I can't spend the rest of my life with that womanizer. My image is very important. You have to consider. Mm. For me, this is an impudent adventure. Reconsider. For St. Peter's sake. Please. If you know what's good for this pastor, if you know what's good for this daughter of Jason Bell, ask her to leave my house now before I kill her here. Come, come, come. Okay. Say I'm out to talk. This is your friend. Say I'm out to talk. God bless you. I did not stab your chest. I saw you are still talking. You this shameless idiot. See you. I will kill you. God bless you. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. See what she said. Let me see. Let me see. Um, Jennifer, see. I don't support this, okay? You, you, your action was barbaric, huh? Do you know you could have been sent to jail for all this? Listen, listen, if this girl does not leave this place before I go in and come back, you have yourself to play. Two of you are not the same. Bears of the same feathers. Hey, look, don't come at me, alright? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not smart. Try me, I'll dismantle this on wakey face for you. Wakey face? Yeah. This thing that smart dead to me, will you allow him to do to your sisters? Should I curse them? Should I curse your sisters and your, your, your incoming wife so that this thing will happen to her? Do I cost them? You are backing for him. Is, is that right? It's quite unfortunate. You know, my sister. Then it now. We'll stab it to you. Ah, what? Smart. Mother, I escaped my death today. What? I saw the devil in her eyes. Were you mad in the first instance as to push a city, a city wide beast who has been a prostitute for years? Mother, Thank God you escaped from hurt. I am so lucky today. She you know the worst part of it? That same bitch you're talking about brought out a knife from her bag and stabbed Smart. Ah. Smart was stabbed. Blood was gushing everywhere. Thank God for his friend that came and stopped him from bleeding for some time. It was disastrous. Hey, I said it. Then your father would not listen to me. I know that nothing good will come out of that philandra. Eh? That, 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 that Casanova. <sighs> no, that. I never knew people can be this, this desperate. To the extent of stabbing someone and also threatening to pour acid on my face. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So it got to that extent? Mother, she meant every word that she said. Problem. Just wait until your father comes back. A doctor, fast turning into a traditionalist. I must vent my anger on him. I will not spare him. What is it? Why are you looking scared and frightened? What my happened? Day. I escaped my death today. Wait, don't tell me you had an encounter with, with uh, um, um, arm robbers. Eh? Was it an accident? You remember that wild lady that I told you I saw in Smart House the last time? That wild, crazy lady. Yes, 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 yes. I remember. What happened to her? She saw me today. As a matter of fact, she caught me and Smart today and threatened to bait me with acid. Jesus! Ah, ah. Wait, oh. Was Smart not around? Which Smart? The one that received a knife cut from the lady. I think it's a joke. You mean she stabbed Smart and even promised to do more and do more if he does anything silly with her? My goodness. Wait, Shoma, are you being serious right now? 
not recovered from the shock. I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry. Thank God nothing happened to you. Because you know I was the one who virtually forced you to, to give Smart a second chance. I'm so sorry. Eh? Smart. Udoka! Udoka! Let me remind you. Eh? You are not going to gain anything. Even though I should banish me and my family from this community. Nothing you will gain. Hey, Ron. Yes? Why are you parading yourself as a warlord and the richest millionaire? When will you ever be humble and be apologetic? Uh, in essence, Udoka, you are telling me that you are not going to help me out of this situation, isn't it? So how can I help you? Ero, tell me, how can I help you when you faulted and disobeyed the Zewa? There is nothing I can do to help you. Hey, you are not helping me. Eh? Quantify the cost. I have 10,000 in my pocket. Ero, I will not touch that money. I will not touch the money because Ezra had told you to bring 60,000 naira. Hey, 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 hey. 60,000 naira for my own farm. 60,000 naira. My own farm. Hey, I will damn the consequence and walk out of here. Whatever you want to do, you and the traditional ruler, I don't care whatsoever. I don't. Ero does not know what he's playing with. I am warning Aaron. You are here now because you will be the one now to be telling me the uh, uh, love of my life. No, I am warning Aaron one day. I will so deal with him. Because the gentle stride of a leopard does not mean that that leopard is weak. My love, calm down. Eh? What is it? I saw Aaron on my way. Was he coming from this house? He came here to make trouble with me. He's making trouble with me. Aaron is making trouble with me. When I saw finish with him, eh? Okay. No problem. Please, my love. Eh? Calm down. But uh, are you supposed to be having issue with Ero? Uh, yours is just to deliver the message from uh, Ezoha, and that's all. Exactly. Exactly. But Ero will keep making trouble with me. He, 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 he said, uh, what will I benefit if, he, if he's banished and whatever? And so for that reason, he started backing at me, backing at me. But one day, I will use him to show an example for this community to know that Udoka is not a weakling. Wait, I don't I don't understand. Shouting down at you for what? Are you Ezoha? Or were you the one that advised him to uh, uh, disobey the advice of Ezoha? That is what I don't know. That is what I don't know. But something tells me that there is something that Aaron is looking for in my life. And I will let him know that he does not have any portion in my life. And I will make this community know. Please, my love. Just forget about Aaron. Who is Aaron? Eh? You want to lose your sleep over uh, over Aaron. He does not want it. Worrying over Aaron is like uh, uh, wasting your time and energy. Please forget about him, Biko. Eh? Forget about him. Yours is just to uh, 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 deliver the message from Ezoha and go to bed. Forget about Aaron. Ah. Thank you. Thank you, love. You're gonna smile for me. <laughs> Smile. Mm. <laughs> Smile, I forget, I forget the wrong is zero. <laughs> you love my life, love You know, my I don't hero. like seeing your face like this. I know. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> you just have to thank your God today. That is, if you have any God, that nothing happened to my only child. Because I know you have been trying everything humanly possible on your side to make sure you disinherit me from this family. But the God I serve will not allow it to happen. It will not work at all. I, I see her imperial majesty. Oh, yes. I've seen that the madness that is running in your family lineage is gradually catching up with you. You're the one causing panic in this family. You are the one that is mad. Yes. Just imagine. Look at yourself very well. You're accusing me of being the one causing panic in this house when you are the chief Confucianist yourself. Oh! You think I did not know that in your quest to be given a chieftaincy title that you insisted that my daughter Chioma must visit uh, SMART? You think I will not find out? See, 
I am tolerating this rudeness of yours so much. Oh, shut up! Shut up! What is all this? Excuse me? Are you pointing finger at me? Is it because I've been tolerating your excessiveness in this house? I will deal with you and by the time I get you, you will understand who I am. Let me tell you, Dr. Wisdom or whatever you call yourself, if you don't like your freedom, if you hate your freedom, just lay a filthy finger of yours on me and see that I don't give threats. I do not care. Apologizing for your stupidity, you're here claiming rights. Huh? Smart. I don't really understand. Huh? Are you angry because I uh, told Jennifer about your mom's visit? Huh? Look, let me ask you something. Are you gonna keep on hiding now, uh, even when you marry her as your wife or something? Even when you know she's even your wife? Hold on a minute. Be... Are you trying to tell me that you're now a spy? Spying on me and taking information back to her as her spy? What did you see? I said you, what I said. You said I'm spying on you, right? Oh, yeah. All I'm saying is that you should sit up as a man. Sit up as a man. Look, what, what, what am I? What are, we, what are we, are we having a conflict on this? Huh? Women digging in and out of ladies with their senses intact. They don't allow that to jeopardize their union. So, what are you trying to do? Let me ask you a question right now. If you're to marry a uh, trauma now, are you going to be hiding under the case? Why are you so scared of Jennifer? You're a man for crying out loud. Yo, 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 yo. Mind your old trousers. Mind what you say to me right now. Right? What do you mean by I'm scared of her? Why should I be scared of her? All right. You actually saved that question. At least you're playing the piper, de detect the tune. Oh. I see. Now I see you've been the enemy of the uh, Yeah, for real. Okay. <laughs> and if I say I regret meeting you, then I'm not joking. Oh, uh, I care. You think I care? Do you think I care, right? Look, look, you know what? The truth will surface one day. Why, why you're running away from Jennifer? Why you'll be so scared of Jennifer? For real? Is that what you're telling me? Yes, that's what I'm telling you. You know what? I'm done. I'm done, right? I'm done having this yeah, useless I'm conversation. Done. Done. I want you to get the hell out of my house now. Get out! I'm getting out of this place, all right? Do, 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 you, think, do, you, think, do you think I'm staying here with you? Huh? Do you think being a real man is like putting up with this Stevie Seeker sign of hell's time? Oh. Man, if you want to come to real man, go to real man. I'll teach you what we'll do. I've been fuck off here. I'm done, done. Oh, real, real. Oh, oh, for real. Papa. Yeah, well, my daughter, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Hi, well, you can see me and I'm okay. And you? I'm good. So, why didn't get you go um, for the journey? Uh, she left this morning with her mother. Oh. Yes. Really? Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> so, what did they say they'll be returning? Um, I think on Thursday. Yes, on Thursday. Well, sit down. Why? Hey. So are, you? Um, are these not your wife's clothes? Oh, yes. They are my wife's clothes. Mm. You also wash her clothes for her? Of course I do. She washes mine. I can as well wash hers. It makes no difference. Wow. We are one. <laughs> you know, I've been wondering, did you ever get angry and hit her? Like, beat her up or something? Angry? to hit my wife. Uh, I don't think that there will be anything of such that can ever make me want to hit my wife. It's like 
he killed my own self. She's the love of my life, so I don't see any... I, no, I can't even imagine it. Me beating my wife? No. Okay, beating myself. I miss her mad. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> hey. I love you so much. Oh. You're a man of peace. Oh, thank you so much, my dear. <laughs> no, I mean every word that I just said. Okay. I love you from the deepest part of my heart. Oh. <laughs> you see, as a bosom friend of my beautiful daughter, we all love you. <laughs> we love you too. <laughs> and we will continue to express our love towards you and, our, and your family too. <laughs> Forgotten that I, I am the father of Nkechi, your friend. Please. It is nothing but a number. I don't care about it. It is you that I want. I love you, Papa. Hey, there are so many young men that can give you peace around. I'm an old man. How can that be? And this your hand here is... My body is already doing something, though. Know. What? Is that what you mean? My body is already shaking. Whatever you call yourself, I just want you to listen and listen very good. You see that issue of uh, illusion? It no longer exists between us. So, from today, I don't want to see your leg to my house or the leg of any of your people, your family, into my house. You will regret what I will do to you. We are no longer in-laws. My in-law. Things are not hurriedly decided like this in traditional matters. It has some traditional procedures to follow. Especially in marriage matters. No matter the offense. I can see. That you're stupid. I can see that you're shameless. You're worthless. Look, if you want to doubt the possibility of what I can do, anywhere you see me in this village around here, just attach that word. You see that word, Ongo? Attach it to my name. Then you will see what I will do to you. Like I said before, we are no longer in laws. Period. And don't address me with that word, Ongo. Even here now. Madam Victoria. Bera. You better ask questions. I know you are a returnee in this town. But the, you, you may not understand certain rules and customs. And no! Stop it! When your husband comes back home, just tell him to calculate the total expenses that you people have missed so far on the head of my daughter. And I will reimburse it to you, even if possible, time straight. You know I'm capable of doing that. So, get it into your fucking head. We are no longer in-laws. Get rid! Don't talk to me anytime. Get out and don't talk to me. Nonsense. Don't look at them. Stupid people. Eh? Stupid people. Hey! It hasn't got into that level, my in-law. Eh? Papa, please give me your pet name. What, what happens to Jeremiah? It's old fashioned. Uh, am I not old fashioned? I am not old fashioned. What do, you, what do you expect from an old man like me? Uh, what do you call your wife? Did you call her by her name, Amon? Uh, no, I call her the love of my life because she's my wife now. Hey, 
So give me a pet name before I leave this place, Papa. Hey, hey please, you, please don't leave. Please don't leave. Um, uh, uh, baby girl, you see. You hey, I like the sound of that one. What my you, baby. What? My baby. Yes. Oh, you like my baby. Yes. Okay, my baby. Papa. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, what if my wife is there? Look at you, she should actually call you my baby. You still call me your baby now. Eh? Yes. Yeah. It, it's not going to be easy. Okay, okay, sorry. I'll go. My baby. <laughs> I'll call you my baby. <laughs> this love is sweeter than the one I know. <laughs> Martina, Martina, come, come, come here. Sit down, sit down. I'm always caught up. Any time Emeka tells me that to come and ask you sensitive questions. Eh? What are you hiding from me, this woman? What is it? What is it you think I'm hiding from you? For this long time we have been married, can't you learn how to trust me? Trust you? Yes. What is going on between you and Emeka? That's what me, I want to know. And meanwhile, who is this your relation that gave you this land that I'm dragging with Emeka? Who? Around him. That will be a question for another day. On a very good day, we shall talk about it. Mm. Yes. All right. One day, Monkey will go to the market and he will not come back. <laughs> uh, tell me, what did Mama Choma come to do here? Victoria came to warn us uh, that, that we should desist from calling them our in laws because the daughter Choma is no longer interested in the union between our son, Smart, and herself. Mm -hmm. Did anything happen when uh, uh, Chioma visited uh, Smart last time? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Chioma did not mention that to me. Maybe you need to call your son and ask him. Hey. But uh, 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 this issue of Emeka asking me to ask you sensitive question is still burning my heart. I don't like it. I don't like it, and I still want to know. Yeah, I really want to know. Nani, you're getting me offended. Sim ni rupu abiko. Nke abutu kini. Pop ni rupiko. Amu. Leave me alone. I should pop. Yes. I should pop. Get out of my face. Eh, hey, just because uh, you hold me at work. Most times with this your romantic gesture that uh, you are using to. Cause this time I run back. All right now. Uh. You dey marry me, let me say you be my yoga. No dey to write me, cause we get a good idea. One can set for. Priska, I invited you here to sort things out. You know, I don't like to hurt people. I don't know where we may meet again in the future, you guys. So I want us to sort our differences out. Smart, you and I know that we are friends and lovers while it lasted. But I never know that you have extra two ladies in your life. Hence is your choice. I need to back out. Well, thank you very much for understanding. All right, that's why I actually called you out here to apologize, to tell you I'm sorry. You were a nice lady while we did it. You never hurt me in this life. Hmm? Smart. Yes. Like I sounded initially, does not mean that I'm not sad. I must tell you the fact. My heart bleeds for the insult I suffer for the hands of Jennifer just because of you. And that's what, what I'm actually saying. All right? I want you to put the past behind you. Let bygones be bygones, okay? Well, let's let's move forward, please. I, I'm truly sorry for everything. 
I'm smart. Yeah. Are you actually trying to have me back in your life? No. <laughs> have me back. This is actually a farewell address. Yes, I I called you here to address you so we can have a peaceful parting. I don't want you to see me on the way tomorrow and say this guy is a very wicked guy. That guy, he broke my heart. You know, I, I don't want all of those. So I want us to have an agreement. You know, you're cool with it, I'm cool with it, you go your way, I go my way. You get? Ah, uh, where are you going? Let, let me let me give you transport now. Give me this kind of question. Listen, if you're going to continue like this, I'm a transport just get up, dress up, and leave this place. And that will be the last time you're going to be seeing me. No, if you no. love me, you should withstand any pressure. No, 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 no. I, okay, okay. I will withstand any anybody on my way. I will, I, I, I will, I, I will deal with anybody because I love you. I love you. I am sorry. You see, I, I why, 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 why should I? <laughs> when, when you, you, you have handsome, rich men and you decide to go for an old man like me, and I'll still be making younger. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love you. I love you. <laughs> you are me. I'm in love. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mama, mm -hmm. Papa's number is still switched off. Eh? Mm -hmm. What's going on? He's unlike him. Eh? And maybe his phone is dead. And maybe there's no place to charge it. Let's just assume that's the situation. This is strange. Oh. But Mama, don't you think that I should um, run to Nze Romano's house? Maybe they have council meeting. Get you stop. You're making me scared. Eh? Don't make me scared. It's not late yet now. Eh? Your father knows we're coming back today. I know wherever he is now. He'll be hurrying back home. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, yeah, now. Let me run down to Choma's house. Before I die of boredom, yeah, I'm very bored. If Papa was here now, I'm sure he will make this place lively. Let me go. I'll see you later. Mkechi. So you had the intention of leaving me here, huh? Eh? Are you not just selfish? <laughs> You have started again. Your own, eh? Your own case is different. Oh, God, let me sit down here and wait for my darling husband. <laughs> okay, no problem. <clears throat> I'm, I'll stay with you. Eh? Go, go! Please go. Uh -uh. Uh, let me stay with my beloved mother now. Eh? <laughs> Why do you like dragging this man with me? Eh? Leave me and my darling husband, please. Hey. Go, go to wherever you want to go to. Let me wait for you. Okay. Your darling husband is good. Chama! Chama! Yes, ma'am. Where did you go yesterday that made you come back late in the night? Well, mama went to see a friend and then we went to see other friends. All together we had uh, to go out and have fun. That you went out to visit some friends made you forget the ethics of this house. That no one stays beyond 8 p.m. Lord of things. Those ethics should be long dead. Come on, nobody is a kid anymore. We won't continue to answer that this girl and mommy's boy. We are all grown ups. Shama, is this really you? That is addressing me so proudly? Well, I see no arrogance in my speech. All I am saying is that you should give us some air of freedom. Yes! Let us do what our mates are doing. I'm worried, my 
telling me what your mates are doing out here that you want to do. What am I telling what me? Please. Please. Something is wrong with you. What is wrong with you? It is not every time that someone stays in the mood to listen to your rant is like some mad dog. Stop it! Go to ever in your life. Try that again. I am no longer this small child that you used to know. Shoma, body. Shoma, come back here. For the second time, come back here, else you'll regret what I'll do. Ha! Did she really shout at me or what? I had a belly, Dad. Shoma! Shoma! Ah. So you're supporting Chioma in insulting me? Me, me, Victoria. Hi. She insulted me in this house. How? I was only protecting her from, you know, lacerating the skin that you cherish so much. And you are personally blames on me. Well, what is it? Anyway, why am I even complaining? Huh? Tell me, why won't your man snub me and walk out of my presence just like that? When you beat me before them? Yes. That was exactly the same thing that gave her the impetus, the audacity to do that to me. Oh, come on. She has every reason to, to insult me. Come on, Victoria. I, I was thinking by now you would tell me what transpired between you and Choma instead of rigmarole words, right? I, I hope you're right now. No, no, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Uh, how will I be all right? Eh? Well, where will I be all right? When by your attitude, you are giving Choma the go-ahead order to go out at will, come in at any time, even late in the night. Yet, you pretend as if you don't know what is going on in this house. Oh, come on. Victoria, I can see your frustration, but I'm not in for your indashable terms. Dr. Wisdom, you are mad. You are crazy for calling my word indashable. How could you do such a thing? Eh? Anyways, wait. It's just because my lawyer has not served you a divorce suit. You won't have the mouth to say this. Idiot. Nonsense. Me insulting me. My love, this idea of coming back home very late and sleeping in the sitting room, is that a new formula? Yes, Papa. I mean, I've still noticing this since we came back from travel. What is the matter, Papa? What is happening? Talk to us. My dear, the love of my life, I, I am sorry for such. You know, the royal assignments, personal engagements, and the rest, take so much of my time. I'm sorry about that anyway. But I, I don't understand. I mean, is anyone a stranger in this house? Huh? My love, did you, when did you become grossly engaged without our knowledge? Yes, Papa. Huh? Yes, Papa. Tell us. Because you don't get involved in any, uh, any assignment without letting us know. You don't. What is happening? You see, one thing you must know is this. Man is continually changing. Nothing is fixed. Today this, tomorrow that. That's the reason. Like I apologize earlier, I apologize for that. I'm sorry. My love, is there any additional assignment mm. this all her gave to you? Yes. Mama is right, Papa. Apart from the secretaryship, is there any other um, um, function that is uh, assigned to you? Please tell us. Too much questions. Too much questions. Asking me this, asking me that. What, 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 what is that? I have a lot on my mind. I have a lot of business to think about. Uh, what is this? Papa. Seriously, I am sick and I am tired of mother's control. It's becoming annoying. I understand, but then you're talking as if you don't know mom. 
I overheard you and I think you shouldn't be arguing with her. So long as you're still living in the same roof with them, mom will always want to be the alpha and have control. She's very annoying. Seriously, I don't know what is wrong with that woman. Look, Chummy, just pray that you graduate and move out of this house. Or better still, just get married and, and move on. But so long as we're here, mom will always be nagging and all you're that. Right. I just can't wait. So all this rubbish can 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 stop. Yeah. So that that reminds me. I wanted to ask: Have you uh, ironed out issue, the issue you had with the smart guy? I told you I do not want to hear that name smart. I'm sorry. Okay, just I'm sorry. I'm just looking out for you. But I don't mean to upset you in any way. I'm sorry. Come on, cheer up. Tell me. <laughs> Don't worry, you know mom and how she can be. Okay? Are we still going to I'm see? not in the mood to go anywhere. Oh, fine, fine. Chum, I don't like the fact that you came back from your outing late. And instead of you apologizing to your mother, you're rather busting the bubbles. Dad, please. You guys should give me some break. Give me some space. I am an adult and I can take very good care of myself. I don't like the way mother is going about this. The way she even sends spy to my school to even want to me. I need to mix up with people. Excuse me. Will you shut up? Your mother loves you dearly. If not, she wouldn't care if you are sinking in the highest ocean or perishing. I know that, father. But with the way she's going about it very soon, I think I'm going to be a public nuisance. I need some space. Oh, Jama, I understand all this. Right? You might be fighting a just cause, but your, your approach to it is very wrong. Instead of, you know, rigmaroling into citing you are right, you better go down your knees and talk to your mother in the apology form. Instead of insulting her. Yes, of course, she told me. You insulted her, and I don't like that. Father, so please, I never insulted mother. I only asked her for my freedom, and that's all. Now, listen to me. I want you to go in there and apologize to your mother. What? That's exactly what I want you to do. Your time start counting now. <laughs> ah, thank you. Hello, baby. It's me. Come and sit down. Is she at home? Yeah. She just went inside now. Okay. Join us, sir. Okay. You're not looking bad. Oh, stop. <laughs> anyway, thank God for everything. Mm. It's not been easy. But... <laughs> ah! Thank you! <laughs> Hello! Welcome! Thank you. Look at you looking all beautiful on just a three day street. Mm. Mm. Are you sure you did not go to see your sweetheart or your boyfriend? No. I went to see my sweetheart with my mother, playing as referee. Your mother will not only be the referee, she will be the new video assistant referee. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. That's B.A. Arrow. Yeah, it's you, right. Oh yeah. my god. Oh. Okay, well, I can see you. About. Really? Uh -huh. You have a lot of gist for me, right? Uh huh. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I hope you came back with uh, bread. <sighs> we did, though. But my dad almost spoiled the family joint that day. Ah, my dad. That has changed. Really? Yes. What happened? Can you imagine that my dad did not come home until late night that day? And, and I know my dad does not stay at least beyond 6 p.m. I don't know what's happening. I don't like you that. Exactly. He's not known for, for such. Yes. And that's why I was so worried. My mom almost died of high blood pressure that day. My dad has changed though. It's not the same man that you know. Maybe he has, I mean, the old man has decided to discover himself. Uh -uh. <laughs> what do you mean by the old man has decided to discover himself? We're talking about my father here. Well, let's just say I was with him the whole day. <laughs> oh, Choma, stop. What do you mean by you were with him the whole day? As in how? As lovers. We were together from morning till night. Chuma. 
you're my baby. <laughs> Like, I, I, I have never felt like this before. I, you're such a beautiful girl. <coughs> let, me, let me call Papa. you back. Let me call you back. Let me call you back. Let me Papa. Yes? Please. Please, I beg you. Tell me that what I just heard is untrue. Tell me, please. I don't understand. What is untrue? Papa. Are you going out with my friend, Choma? Come on, will you address me as your father? What, what, what are you talking about? Papa, are you going out with my friend Choma as in dating her? This is what we are supposed to discuss under a mutual understanding, not by shouting. Please, Papa, please. Please, just clear my doubts. Are you having an affair with Choma in any way? Are you? Papa, talk now. Kichi, you come down. Try to understand. I, yes, I, 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 I loved you, Oma. What? Papa, do you understand what you just said now? That girl is my junior. Kichi, why are you talking like this? I'm not sure you really fell in love once. When love hits you, it's a new world entirely. I have never felt the way I feel loving Chioma, your friend. She's just a wonderful girl. Both of us are in love. Try to understand. Jesus! I, I, I love you. Jesus Christ! Papa! Jesus! Goodness! Mama! Mama! Oh. Mama! Mama, what is it? What Mama, is it? who is chasing you? I feel like vomiting, Mama. I feel nauseous. My stomach is about to explode. Uh, what is it? Uh, what did you eat? Uh, what did you eat? Do you have stomach upset? Mama, there is trouble. Mama, there is trouble. Abomination! Hey! Please. Hey, please, you're making me scared. What is it? Mama, Chioma just told me now that she is seeing my father. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just came back from Chioma's house now and I went straight to meet Papa. And Papa confirmed it. Please, Mama. <sighs> I don't understand. Mama, please. Can somebody just tell me that this is a dream? Pinch me, Mama. Mama, pinch me. I don't understand. What is wrong in... Choma, see your father or your father seeing Choma, I don't understand. Mama, Mama! Eh? Choma is now dating Papa, your husband. I mean, they are now having an affair. Lovers. <laughs> Lovers. Bam. How do you mean dating? How? When? Where? I, I, how? I don't know. I don't know. But you need to just go in there and confront your husband. The better for you, Look, the better Kechi. for you. Look, Okechi. This is a very sensitive matter. It's not everything you joke with. Hope this will not end up being an April fool. April what? If it's an April fool, it's good now, Mama. I am telling you that your husband, your beloved husband, is now lovers with Shoma, my friend. My husband? Yes! Bam! And Shoma? Yes! You better go. In fact, I'm coming with you. I'm right behind you. My everlasting love. I, I am sorry. I, I, I don't know how the whole thing happened. Choma just swept me off my feet. My love. Are you confirming this to be true? Papa, please answer Mama. Is it true that you can go naked before Chioma as lovers? Is it true? Hmm. My everlasting love. It is true. Me and 
Chopper and I are in love. My love. You mean you have been sleeping with Chioma? Ah. Hi. Mama, Mama, please get water. Mama, please, uh, Mama, please. You still have me. Am I not here for you? Mama, please don't leave me. Oh. Don't leave me. I will tell Mama, please. Get up. Papa, bring the water, please. Please. Mama, please. Mama, get up. Mama, get up. Mama, please now. Please, Mama. Mama, please. I'm here for you. I will be your everlasting love. Mama, please, Mama. Um, Gigi, hmm? I need to understand why you brought me to this place instead of your house or mine. Okay. You don't understand. I will tell you. I brought you out to this natural place so that in case anyone kills each other, she now go to the police and lay reports for murder. I... What did you say was happening between you and my father? Can you say it again? Because well, point of correction is not even words. It's eggs. It's a present thing. Your father and I are lovers, or didn't you confirm it from him? You are mad, Chioma. There's something wrong with your head. Yes! Okay, so you did not see anybody to fall in love with again. What happened to Smart? You now decided to, to fall in love with my own father. My father, why? Why, Chioma? Well, let's just say because your father has all the qualities that I'm looking for. He's loving, he's caring, he's peaceful. He's an understanding man. Chioma. May I imagine you strike your mouth for ever saying this to me? You are an idiot! You are a witch, a daughter of a witch, for trying to disintegrate my, 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 my family peace and, and joy and happiness oh, and everything that... Look at rubbish, you idiot! Look at this state witch talking to me because I condescend myself so long to talk to a puppet like you. What the hell do you think you want to come and talk to me like that? Are you talking to me, Chioma? No, if I'm talking to you, what's going to happen? You must be mad. You must be there, mad. There's something wrong with your head. Your family generation is there's mad. There's something wrong with your head. You're putting in a You are a witch. You're the one that's the witch. daughter of a witch. Look at who is look talking. Look at you. Oh my you look God. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. You look at an old man. Hey, you look like an old man. 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 Hey, you don't have sense. You don't have sense. You don't have sense. You should die on low. That's why the only problem in your house. Get out! You get out! You push me again, no? You push me. Get away from my father. I don't know what is happening. You know what is happening. You don't know what is happening. Stay away from my father. You think I'm like you? 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 Hey, okay, it's okay. Okay, anything that made you fight your friend, Choma. Hi! That must be very serious and annoying. Hi! Please, please, please. Please. I am not just in the mood now. Please. I am very bitter. Can you imagine? Mm. Eh? Can you imagine what kind of nonsense is this? Eh? Hey! Nkechi. <clears throat> eh, I, I know. But I'm still sorry. Eh? But, Nkechi. Anything that made you fight your friend, Choma, if it were to be another person, we would have been talking about that case by now. Kalista. Hmm? Kalista. Can you imagine that? Choma, that stupid girl, crazily, caught off a, a, a relationship with Smart, and that, that guy, Tio, yes, Tio, just to hook up with my father. My old father. I just, I just don't get it. I'm trying to 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 to, to, to wrap like like I, I can I, I can figure it out. Um, but uh, wait though, how? I don't understand. Like how? Kalista, um, Shoma is now dating and sleeping with my father. <laughs> with my father, yes, my old father, Udoka, the same man that you know. Hey. Wait, though. Is she raving mad or infatuation? I don't know. 
I have no idea. I don't understand how a young girl will leave a young, vibrant man just to be with an old man. An old man! I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I wish she did not try you. This is wickedness unpersonified. Wait, did she give you any reason? I don't care! I don't care whatever reason that she has! She has no reason to sleep with my father! I don't care what drove her into my father's house! I don't care! Hey! Mm. I don't care! It's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. You see, because of this, I will make sure that I kill that girl in this village. I must kill that girl in this village! Inkechi. I must kill Inkechi, Inkechi, please, Inkechi, please, Inkechi. Don't say that again, don't even loud it. Inkechi, these people are rich. They are highly connected. Me and you, we don't have any. I, I mean, I'm sorry. Don't, don't get angry. Don't even say that again, Obiko. Sorry now. Uh, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Anything where they like you, made them talk. You see, for this love, no going back. I'm in love, I'm in love. Papa, 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 by stooping so low to date my friend Chioma, you have finally lost all the self esteem and respect that I have for you. You have lost it. You have lost it, Papa. You have lost it. You better watch your mouth. Watch your tongue. Mm. Because I can curse you right now for speaking to me in that manner. Oh, Papa. Papa, see how you have you have used your hand to scatter the family that you you you, you built just because of an animalistic uh, lust for, 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 for a little kid. For a little a, a little kid. One small girl. Huh? H hello? <sighs> You, you, you can't be serious. Thirty minutes ago. Okay, okay. So you, you went to, 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 to fight your ma? You went to fight your ma? Papa. Why did you go there? You slapped me. I, I will slap you again. Something wrong with you. Ouch. Are you mad? Do you know the joy I derive having Joma as my baby? I've touched the tiger by the tail. Don't, don't you ever try it again. Mama, I'm your daughter. Come get out of my sight. You slapped me. Okay. No problem. We shall see. I will kill that girl. We shall see. We shall see. Okay, we shall see. We shall see. You see that girl? And we killed that girl. Mama. Mama, yes. Papa just slapped me twice for fighting that girl. But you see this slap that Papa gave me? Because of this slap, I will make sure that I kill that girl. I will kill that girl, though. No. I will kill her. Please. Listen, it's not every battle you go to with gun and cutlass. Mm. Eh? This particular one. Needs prayer and dialogue. Please. Mama, please. Mama, please. You see this one? You see this situation? Eh? It needs violence. And I must apply it. I have to save my father from the claws of trauma. I have to. Okechi, don't forget that the first time I heard about this news, I fainted. But I weighed it spiritually. I found out that this is more spiritual than physical. Please, my daughter. Let us follow this thing with dialogue and spiritually. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so what's what, what's in your mind? Okay. Look, we draw from every physical, ah. every form of physical attack. Ah. Let us try dialogue, please. Mama, Papa has gone far. Papa has gone far. I have to save Papa because Papa is being hypnotized by Joma. I have to seek my father. I have to. My daughter, that is the more reason I said we need dialogue and prayers. 
We don't even know where this ill wind is blowing from. Please. Mama. Mama. Mm. Ma Mama, please. I can't do this. Uh -huh. Doka. Oh, Nketi, Nketi, Nketi. Oh, but you were done. To be honest with you, 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 you cannot believe it. You won't believe it. Though. Let the law on me, because me, Kalista, I did not believe it either. But then I heard it from the horse's mouth. Mm -hmm. To me, this looks like a setup. I mean, what will Chioma be looking for in Nani Doka? Of all people in this community, forsaking smart. My dear, this is not a set of anything. Eh? But then, I am not going to say everything. We cannot say everything from here. Eh? Uh -huh. So, if you ask me, mm. this is not ordinary. Obahaka. I never can tell you. It might be ordinary. Mm -hmm. eh? True love exists too. Let me tell you, true love does not consider age, creed, or even education. Eh? They may truly be in love. So I bought one. Well, she you say you are a graduate. You would not have sense. You might if cha 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 cha. Must you insult my friend? Keep quiet. Which one is um, love, age? Wait. Nani Udoka, that old man, talking about love. Eh, Nki Bazo, no man. What does that man have to offer? Come on. It's not the way you say it. Hey. See, let me tell you. You might not know what has transpired between the both of them. Hmm? See, let me tell you. When you will see and know what is going on, that I foresaw this coming. So relax. You're not a person. No. I know. You see that girl. You see that Chioma of a girl. Or man, daily that girl on Amma. That girl will not make heaven know. That girl is very, very wicked. No, she actually cost me. Me, Kalista, my Ashwebi clothes. And you expect me to be happy. I am so angry with that girl. No, take that. No, nobody find mm. the here. She now went to be following that old man. Then she now left very sweet, young looking man. He now she left him banana mama. She left that boy, very fine boy. If you want to if you want to on your mako ulo gadi. I bet don't tell me that. Don't one. say such. Eh? Is it banana that she will chop? Or banana or galata? Eh. Relax. See, let me tell you. Eh. They are both in love. Hi. She be in this community that we are. We will see to the end. Just to wait to Anya. Wait to Anya. No, I know it's Ashebi that is causing all these things. We will be Ashebi. If not Ashebi, what will lead? Go home. Leave me alone. In fact, let's 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 close this matter. Leave this thing. I am happy that I gave that stupid girl that caused herself to get you the beating of her life. Listen, I love that man, and I'm ready to die for him. Imagine if Kichi tricky sleeping me out to fight me. Well, I am happy I gave her the beating of her life. I'm politic for what? A man that loves me? A man that pops me like an egg? Unlike all those young boys that can't even keep their relationship, that cheats around? I love him, but that's what matters. He loves me too. I'm looking up for you. Can you stand in the presence of our parents and see what you're just saying? Just listen to yourself. Like I said. I love you without reservation. And I can stand right in front of God to say the same thing that I just said to you right now. Do I sound like I'm going mad? Like everybody thinks I'm going crazy because I'm in love. Do I sound am, 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 am I mad? Have I gone bananas? My love. The love of my life. What is actually happening in our house of late? What do you think is, is actually happening? I know you know. But I'll tell you. 
My love, what is your involvement with that little girl, Chioma? My love, I am sorry for the embarrassment. But the truth is, I, I am in love with that girl. I love the love of my life. Have you forgotten the love, the joy, the peace we've been sharing in this home? Do you want to sweep that under the carpet? My love. The only thing constant in life is change. And if you do not move with the change, it will sweep you away. And so I want you to begin to understand so you can adjust. Adjust? Adjust to what? Udoka, adjust to what? You want me to adjust to sharing you with that little girl, old enough to be your own daughter. Where is that intelligent man that I fell in love with and got married to? When last did we sleep together? You want that life to continue so that I'll die of, 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 of post cancer? No, tell me, you want me to die of post cancer? Luka, Luka, remember, we promised to love each other even till death. Hello. Do you know what it means flogging a dead horse? <sighs> I just decided not to involve myself in matters that concerns you. Because of late, you developed ugly wings. But what do I do? I'm still your mother. That's if you believe. You was never a child. I said you're not my mother. Could you just allow me to land before forcing words out of my mouth? I know you're an independent woman with powers, so you can talk when I'm talking. Well, I'm sorry about that. I'm all ears. It's okay, no need apologizing. That's by the way. There was this thing David told me about your strife with Gechi. Why did you fight her? Mother, God will punish Gechi. God will punish her for trying to truncate the little happiness that I managed to find after dumping that idiot that calls himself smart. Um, would you mind telling me how she did that? Well, mother, sorry about what I'm about to say, and I know you're not going to really like it, but you have to find a place in your heart and accept it for the way it is. Why are you apologizing before saying whatever you want to say? Just save the apology and tell me whatever it is. I am in love with Tuduka. Are you sure of what you are saying? Yes, mother. I'm very sure. Um, by the way, who, which Tuduka are you talking about? Ukechi's father. Yes! What? Are you insane? Why are you slouching? Have you lost it? Sure. Will you get out of my sight before I do something stupid? Get out of my sight before I do something stupid! What? Shuma! 
you saying it? That is it. That is it. That is it. That is the cause of this. You caused this. When I was begging you, pleading with you to come so that we would join hands together and groom Chioma, you refused. Have you seen where it has landed her? Oh, Victoria. Victoria, I have seen that you were sent so that I will be suspended in air of restlessness. I, I thought they said retirement is a trunk of rest, but I am not getting it anywhere. What I am not getting rest. About? What rest are you talking about when you have used your hands to scatter and destroy all we joint hands to build together? What are you talking about? What on earth did I scatter even? Oh my goodness, thy transport. I will begin to fight two ways of escape. Maybe I can travel to Cameroon, I can go to Togo, I can go to Germany, anywhere in the world, as Dr. long as I'm out of this place. Dr. Wisdom, this is not a shouting matter. Something terrible has happened. As we speak now, our daughter, Chioma, she has done something disgusting, very, very disgusting. And, and, and what is that? <sighs> Chioma is sleeping and dating someone twice her age, Chief Udoka. Wait a minute. Udoka. The palace secretary. He is the one. He is the reason Chioma dumped smart the young handsome man that proposed to her to date a man thrice her age. Hey! Is Choma under an influence or something? I don't know. Is she bewitched? Where is she? I don't know. Hey! 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 Why are you so stubborn? I want you to examine your, 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 your decision, but then you won't listen. Is that why you had to go and tell mom what I confided in you? You are such a weak man. If you insult me, I will dare the consequence and beat the devil out of this, your stupid head. Oh, please get out. Look at this homo sapien. Beat me. Beat me now. Beat me. Idiot. I was... I was so silly to have to have believed in you in the first place. I should have known that you're my half brother. You don't have my interest at heart. Chioma, are you the one vomiting this nonsense? You're calling me half brother just because I told mom something that will save your life and, and save this family from impending embarrassment. This noble family. You want to put down a name to shame? Who, to me? who is saving somebody? Look at your life. No, take a good look at your life. Are you a sixty? Did you breathe? To your nostrils because at this point I think you breathe through your anus. Look at you. You're trying to save me. Your mates are out there having kids. Building up empires for themselves. Having a family. But what you have? Nothing. Whether you like it or not, I will continue to fall in love with Chief Udoka and nobody will stop me. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be very ashamed of yourself. You're mentioning that old man's name, Chief Udoka. Young ladies your age, they are aspiring to be with young boys that have things, have substance, have money, have investment. But then you choose an old man, an old man that can die anytime, that doesn't have anything, no money, no noble name, nothing. That's what a fine girl like you choose. Oh. Look at you, look at you. So Watch out, I had this, this, this high standard. I was looking at you, I was thinking probably you're seeing things the way I see things. You are falling in love with an old man. Eh? Hey. When you go home, like tomorrow or next, he is dead. Look at you. No, 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 come back. Let me talk to you as a learned person. Because as far as I am concerned, you're nothing but an illiterate graduate. You're a fool, an imbecile, a homosexualized idiot, a catastrophic bastard. That is what you are. Look at who is talking. What do you have to show for yourself? You're here living under your father's wealth. You are calling me. Oh, please, please get out. You are... Try it. Try it! Come sell it, Kibongi. I just try it. Anebenu, look at you. This is all about carrying pebe. You think it's all about carrying pebe? Only small argument with the woman. You're sweating like a man. Look at the way you're sweating like a kid. And you're falling down. Look at me now. 
I, I will fall. Is that old man that will actually fall? Look at him. Somebody that will die in this. Baby, the whole thing I like about you is that you know, the way you give it to me is different from. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my lord. Yes. Um, what do we can do the the marriages of? Now you're having a weak spirit all of a sudden. I'm in love. No. It's just that my you see, my BP, you know, goes up and down when they things like that and that's why. Can you take your BP drugs? If you love me. You should be able to understand any pressure. We've talked about this a couple of times. Okay, okay, okay. So, so I, 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 will, I will take my BP drops all the time. I, I am ready to withstand anybody that wants to disturb us. I will take my BP, BP drops, don't worry. I'm strong, I'm strong. As long as I love you and you love me, that's all I need. Mean. Or oh, you want me to drop you for a young eh? no, don't, 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 don't you say that again. Please don't. I am for you and you are for me. <laughs> My baby. <laughs> let me collect. Let me collect. <laughs> what am I there? Yes, yes. But to show you how wicked is your daughter. He placed my daughter under his spell and made her reject all the younger suitors that have been coming her way, including Smart, the son of Aaron, because he wants her. All to himself. Is that not a wickedness to highest order? Tell me what that is, if not wickedness of first class order. <clears throat> um, Dr. Wisdom, I've heard you, but are you sure about what you've just said? Because if <laughs> it's not true, I hope you know that is a character of deformation. I hope you know that. Romanus, I am a man of high throughput. I say words the way they are. I don't say nonsense. The only one favor I'm asking from you is to go back to Udoka and warn him to stay 1,000 miles away from my daughter. Let him leave my daughter all alone. Um, like I said, I will go. But, like I said, <laughs> if it happened that what you just said now is untrue, I hope you know what it's going to cost you. Your title and a cow. I hope you know that. Let it cost my life. Let it cost anything. My wife. Anything you can think of. I have served this country for a good 35 years, and I have never lied to anyone. I am not lying to uh, you. Uh, um, it's okay. It's okay. I, I believe. I, I accept. I will send your word to him. I will confirm then I will get back to you. Okay? Um, so I have to be on my side. I'm warning you. I am, Anuli, I am warning you. No, you want Anuli, to talk. I'm warning you. You want to talk? You are a foolish, senseless, stupid old man. Udoka, Udoka, you are an idiot! If you had wanted to marry a second wife, why did you not marry a mature woman? You just disgraced yourself, ridiculed yourself. Because you are a shameless woman. 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 I've been begging you to, 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 to forget everything. It's like, it looks like you don't, you don't want to understand. You are mad. You are mad. You are mad. You are mad, Udoka. You are mad. I'm You think all your plans will, will work? You think it will work? Look, and look, I regret every single moment I spent. Your you. plans have failed. When last did you wake up? Oh, you wanted me to die with an enlarged portrait. Is that, is that what you want? wanted? Thunder fire. Thunder fire, you 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 Thunder fire, your father. Thunder fire, you fire, your father, your, your mother. And what fear? So you can, you can now look first at my, 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 my eyes and I'm. Maybe somebody. What can you do? You, 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 the only thing you can do is to pass on that young girl. 
Stupid man! She's giving me pleasure. I'm not fear. She's giving me pleasure. She's giving me pleasure. What the I'm, fuck I'm, are I'm, you? I'm, I'm... Stupid man! I have chosen to drag my name in the mud. I have not only disowned you, but you have been excluded from your education at infinity. I thought you were educated and enlightened. I was expecting you to call me as your daughter and ask me why I preferred an old man instead of a young folk. Hear me. You are an accursed child. A disgrace to womanhood. I'm just ashamed of you because you have no future, no vision. You are not better than a, a, a street lady. Mom, enough of this shading and name calling. Let's find a way to disengage Choma from that old fool who doesn't even know his age. Watch your mouth. You are mad and stupid. Just look at you. I expected you to beat that, that, that local urchin up. That old brat. You would not. Yes. Because Chioma here is not your direct sister. She's just your half-sister. Mom, enough of this division and, and trying to bring confusion in this family. Besides, you're the one feeding Chioma with this philosophy of, of um, her, her half-brother. The other day I tried to advise her and, and, and she brought it up. And Dad, you did not tell me that Mama Chioma here is, is not my biological mother. I'm not. You, you this rookie player. You see this ember of discord that you've been fanning, you will be burnt up with it. <laughs> now get out of my shed, you hagagamaya! Out! Let me get out of your face for what? We are alcohol and you know that. You're not even ashamed of yourself. Look at this uncircumcised homo sapiens. You're talking to me? Raising your voice at me for what? Don't worry. I will show you something. That where you fell, I will win. I must set Chioma, my daughter, free. She will be free from all this. Just to watch and see. Did you hear that, David? Mom, you are calling dad names. Oh, shut up, what you will do? No, 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 Uchi. If you don't know, your father, he, is a toothless bulldog. Dad, I blame you for all this. A woman in a man's clothes? Listen to me. This woman here is nothing but the size of an ant, a nikon poop, a numb skull. That's who she is. <laughs> Just look at this old fool. Because I allowed myself to be pushed by my parents in marrying you, I never for once wanted to marry you from day one. Look at it. Look it's at crazy. this couple of bandwagon. Because I took a shot of whiskey the day I decided to marry her and I made the biggest You are a new income poop. You are a new poop. You are an idiot. You are a local. You are a scalper. That's local urchin and That's who you are. That's who you are. You are a new twitch. You are a new twitch too. Odogunwoke. Honorable. The chief secretary of the palace. When Wizon told me that, I argued it to the end. Now tell me, is it true? Since it, hmm? I will not lie. It is the truth. Yeni! Hmm. It is for real. Oh. Ah, you see, I still do not know what came over me. But imagine when a beautiful girl as Chioma walks up to you and says she prefers you to this young man. What will you do? <laughs> um, Udoka, are you saying imperatively that it was that girl that lured you? or that woe you into what you did. In the name of the oracle of this community. Yes, she did. Eh? You would have backed at her. Or better still, report her to her parents. Backed at her? Yes. 
If only the willpower was there. That one is better said than done. Before I knew what was happening, just the way a python will wrap its prey before swallowing. Her mouth was already in my mouth. Hi. She started kissing me. Um, <coughs> um, and I prayed for it. Um, before I, I, I lost all my defenses, I didn't know. Um, Mze, considering your position in the society, you shouldn't have allowed that now. Eh? I may have fallen for that temptation. But, it's easy. Since that time, my life has never remained the same. Right. As I speak, I feel wanted. I feel loved. I feel invigorated. I feel like a young man again. Hey, Chere, Chere. Chere, Udok. Now that wisdom is calling for fire and brainstorm, what do you do? Wisdom dare not disturb the two of us because I am ready to kill anybody. Eh? As I speak now, this blood, it is Choma blood that is flowing here. Flowing to here, here. But to Lekupugike, and anybody that tries to stop the flow, I will kill that person. Lekupugike. Yeah, be here when I get to go, Mkwaka. I am helpless. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> so it has gotten to that extent. What has it got into? Is it a bad thing to love? <laughs> but not of that age. Who, a girl who is old to be a, to be a daughter. And when I went into the world, did it appear that that age was so small? My oh. baby, you, you mean you just can't spare a time to manage to come out from the house to see me? I'm dying to see you. I'm sorry. Oh, please, uh, are you sure you can hold on until the storm is over? I love you. I, I, I will hold on until everything is done. Mama, I don't know how I'm feeling. It's as if they are using her mouth to hit my chest. God. I've been feeling like this since last night. <sighs> Mama, I don't understand. What kind of attack is this? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I feel tired <laughs> and fainty. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Mama, uh, okay. Can I at least go and call your husband? <sighs> no. Just let it be. He doesn't care about me anymore. Oh, don't cut it. My heart, my love, my happiness. My husband. Mama, please take it easy, please. Thank you. Mama, mama, please. Mama, mama, please. Mama, mama, please. Mama, mama, please. Mama, please. Mama, please. Mama, please. Uh, yes, I love you. Trust me. I love you. I can't say it without you. <laughs> what is chasing you? Papa. I said, what is chasing you, Ikechi? Papa, if you wouldn't mind, please come with me. Follow you to where? Papa, please come with me. Follow you to where now? Please save my mother. Save my mother. 
She's complaining that they are eating her, her chest, her heart with a uh, hammer. They are hitting my wife with hammer? Yes. Who are they? Yes. Who are they? Who are, no, who are they? Oh, Papa, let's go. Please. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Where are you? Mama, 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 Gods of our lands and our ancestors receive the soul of Madame Angori. He said, ah, In all my lifetime, I have never seen a husband and wife that loved themselves that like uh, Udoka and I his late you. wife Angori. I tell you, eh? they never fought no quarrel at all. In fact, their love was the Lord from heaven. Hi! Truth to be told, hmm. Doka has lost your rage. I am telling you. And the whole community at large. Hmm? Did Anu resort anyone's trouble in this community hmm. throughout her lifetime? Hmm. Did no, she? No, no, no. She's a woman of peace. A kind, loving person. Eh? In fact, she's a peacemaker. Hi! Udoka. Hmm. Uh, we all know how much love you have for your wife. Please, we are just here to console you. Hmm? My brother, take her. It shall be well. Hmm? It shall be well. Eh? Take her. Please. Take heart. Take heart. Hmm? What beat and what me the most is that my mother was never sick. What did she even complain about having any symptoms at all? <laughs> Calm down. See, no amount of crying this woman is going to bring her back. Eh? The simple truth I'm going to tell you is to take heart. Eh? Everything is going to be fine. Eh? Please. Eh? If you ask me, I don't even know what to say. I don't know where to start. Eh? But as for me, Kalista. I will always speak nothing but the truth because it is in my anointing to speak the truth. Your father did not try. Anointed Kalista. And what is the truth you want to speak in this current and present situation? Eh? Don't you know what's going on here? Eh, 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 Betty, keep quiet. What are you not telling me? See, let me tell you. Wait. Are you not sure? That Nkechi's mother's death is being caused by her father's elect with that trauma of a girl. Kalista! Mm -hmm. How sure 
how are you that this thing you're saying is related? Eh? Eh? eh, eh. eh? eh, eh. Don't, don't insult me. Don't start. Eh? Do you know what is heartbreak? Imaye Bimbowa, that woman, that innocent woman, died of nothing but heart attack. <laughs> I will tell you the truth. Heart attack leads to heart failure. Why you long we care? Doctor, Doctor, Kalista. Kalista may not be entirely wrong in her suspicious. Okay. <laughs> My mother died of a heart attack. <laughs> She could not take my father's betrayer anymore. Sorry, and see, everything will be fine. Yes. And it's for you. Everything will be fine. Dr. Kalista. No, wait. No, no, no. You have you have stabilized and the uh, and the conclude the, 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 the source and diagnose the source of, of her death. Wait, 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 here yes, now. Okay, why are you talking like this? Yes. See, okay, imagine ordinary Elizabeth of yesterday. Because her boyfriend is busy sleeping around with people from pillar to post. What happened? The girl only a few badge. Let alone your mother. Oh, you know what that woman? Your father is wicked. Sorry, eh? Yeah. We are here to console her. Let's console her, she's our friend. So, so don't cry now. Zip eh? your mouth small. <laughs> you don't cry. Why I should be following you when you run inside the bush. I'm sure you're going to that fool's house. When the parents are busy looking for your home, you're here running around him. Right? Don't be stuck to your business. You know what? I don't have time you to go back. That have something to do with the whole rest of it. Sorry? Guess what? You see this act of yours? I swear to God, you're going to regret it. Because your parents are going to pay me for every damn I spent on your head. Like I said, I remember. I know there isn't a deep for this love. I know there isn't a deep. How were you able to leave the house? My parents were having some fight and issue with Smart. I had to use the opportunity and sneak out. How have you been? I heard about the death of Mama Nkechi. Please take heart. I... I'm confused. The love of my life is gone. And just like that, I don't know what to do. Do you regret loving me? Then whatever you lost in Mama Nkechi, you're going to get double of it in me. Stop crying, okay? It's okay. Thank you. I love you. I have to worry back before they will notice that I left the house. I love you, Papa. See you. Papa, I swear to God, heads will roll in this community. Heads will roll in this community if Choma's father does not pay me for every dime I spent on that their useless daughter. Heads will roll. Heads will roll. Instead of you to be ashamed of yourself and cover your face in shame, that lady, that young lady dumped you, a young man for an old man. Hey! For an old man. And yet, you have mouth to talk. Your mouth is wagging. Go on, is, is this what you're saying? Yes. Around him. 
-hmm. Let's find a way to solve this problem. Now that Smart wants every dime he spent on that girl, Joma, back. So, what do we do? Oh, woman, don't allow this cause trouble between you and I. You understand me? Are you not the one encouraging him all the while? Instead of him to be ashamed, he's now wagging his tongue. The wisdom are not owing us. Come on! And who says so? Yes, Papa. What about the first and the second marriage rite completed by me? Did you pay the right price? Oh, well, I, I, I paid not to marry. Eh? Then you have nothing to claim. All you paid was just regarded as uh, it's not part of our community or whatsoever. It's regarded as a jamboree. Excuse me? Yes. Papa, you're telling me that all the money I spent on Choma yeah. is regarded as jamboree. Jamboree? Over my dead body. She's going to pay me everything. All the jamborees must be given back to me, Papa. Is that not unfair? That is quite unfair. Oh, woman, what is not unfair in the, uh, uh, about this? What is not unfair? Were you not there when I told Matt to allow me handle the refund? What did he say? He refused. He refused totally. Now you say, I have to collect the refund. Go and collect it. It's going to pay me for everything. Mother and child. I don't, I don't care. It's going to pay me for every damn thing. Eh? Your mother will go and collect the money for it's you. It's quite unfair. They will pay it. Masi Udoka. I have purposely remained speechless since the demise of my mother. And I refuse telling anyone the cost of my, 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 my mother's debts. I guess you're happy now. Ngechi, you are right. I have equally remained silent. Because if there's anyone that should know about the cause of my wife's death, it should be you. Because you slept on the same bed with her that very night. And so, I will ask you now, what happened to my wife? It is you and your shameless love at Shoma that caused the death of my mother. And I will not rest until her soul rests in peace. I will not. Are you sure of this threat, Nikichi? <sighs> Who am I to threaten you? Who am I? But in my own little way, I will prove to you that even a grain of rice can shake the scale. Since it has become obvious that you have lost every respect for me as your father, I will watch you as you carry out this strength. Miserable day on this planet. I must make sure that you suffer. Mother, please, I am sorry. My only crime was just to fall in love, and I have apologized for it. I'm sorry. You're sorry for falling in love with an old, wretched, poor, useless, and stupid man. German. You're a colossal lust. And I, Victoria, I caused the day I conceived you in my stomach. Mother, please don't see that. Mother, I am sorry, please. I'm sorry you're disappointed in me. It wasn't intentional. Don't stop. 
The punishment you are melting on trauma is, 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 is too much. What has she done? Has she done anything that ladies her age hasn't done anything? How, dare How dare you challenge me when I correct my daughter? What concerns you there? Are you stupid? Have you lost it? Mom, don't, don't, don't try to slap me again. What has Joma done? What will you do what if has I she do? done? What has she done? She only fell in love with a man of her choice. She's old enough to make her choice. Really? Yes. Oh, David. I don't blame you. Yes, I don't blame you for insulting me because your father is the one I blame. And this useless girl here called Shoma. They are the people that give you the impetus, the audacity to insult me. But don't worry. I will come to you. And you, you will see what I will do to you. Go to my room now. Mother, please, I'm sorry. Please. Mr. George, take it from me. I am going to lock her up in my room. Let me see what you or any other person will do about it. Let's see. Get out of my sight. Mother, please, I am sorry. Please. Yes. I said go right to my room. Mother, please. Get inside! No. No. Where's your mother? Where's your mother? If you don't know who your mother is, I will draw her. Ezoha frowned at your involvement in the scandal and frowned over the involvement in the sudden death of your wife by the disgraceful attitude of yours. She is able to. Why didn't you defend me before, Ezioha? Uh, you should have defended me to say I was really disappointed in myself. But I did. I told you everything. I did, but he wouldn't listen. <sighs> yes, he insisted you stood so low to have slept with a girl who is at the age mate of your daughter, who happens to be also your daughter's friend. Too bad. And that has cost the death of my beloved wife. You see, they have lost everything. That is the price you have to pay. Yes, because he who fetches a firewood that has hands has invited Lizard for a feast. Onye Bataranko now, Ezoha have instructed that you hand over all the palace documents under your custody to me. Isn't that too harsh? Isn't that too harsh? Hey. 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 <laughs> well, there is nothing I can do about that. <laughs> yes. Spoiling small, small girls in your in your community, destroying their destinies. But you know what? This is your last episode. Oh, 
Alligator, we are paid an hire to shoot this man. Why are you romancing me him towards? Hey, where? I have for you. Who could eliminate this man now? Move on. Time no day. Ah. Listen up. Listen up. I remain the boss here. Will you allow me, as the leader of this gang, to do this job the way I, I, I choose to do it so that we will not fall into trouble? I'm worried because of KLB. If you can't cramp us here now because of information with the gates. Yes, so. Based on that Congo man, what we will not carry that time. Hey, you see him now. The man feels you use the clipping like on the trust us. Move will eliminate this thing and move on now. What is this up? It's okay, it's okay. Um, the uh, old man, you are dying today. But before that, I want you to say your last prayer. Sharply. Or your last wish mm. before joining your ancestors. Mm. Mm. I don't know who is behind this. But whoever is behind this, any time he or she falls in love, yes, he or she will die by the gun. Yes. And I want you to take this message to my baby. <laughs> take this message to Chioma. Tell her I love her so much. Tell her it's a pity that we could not fulfill what we have planned. Oh, this man is so stupid! Stop, stop, stop! stop. Alligator, this not total black me. You for let me move that guy else now. Alligator, my money must be intact. My money, I know one year story for my money. But I'm could just go eliminate that man now nah, and collect our balance. The match up. I know one story. I'm not gonna join you. Uh, uh, come on, guys. We will kill this man. But before then. There's a story I want to tell you people about this alligator you see today. About love. I don't care about love. If not love I want, eh? I'll feel go any hotel, pay any woman for that. Free myself. See, eh? I don't talk my own, I'm not gonna repeat myself again. That is my take. Okay, guys, okay guys, just give me a listening here. Root, my love. Hmm. You know I love you so much. And I will always do. Okay, Chi, my love. The people call you alligator. So people are there, you might be a notorious kidnapper, killer, and arm robber. But I'll continue to love you. Wait a minute. So you know this much about me and you still love me? I know a lot more than this. But you're my heart, my life, and my love. And I'm praying for you to become a better person in the society. Someone I will be proud of. Um, I love you. Um, Ruth, uh, there's something I want to tell you. I never chose to be a bad egg to the society. But the unjust killing of my father by the people he trusted most made me to be doing all this. Oh, don't worry, my love. I'll change because of you, okay? I understand. And I love you. Um. Those guys are coming for me. They are coming for me. Go and hide. Go and I'll see that you're not here. Go inside, please.
Criminals that useless as get of criminal that will help you. Guys, you don't move back, coach. You're a liar and a collaborator. Guys, go in there and search for him. Hiding place. Key root. She died in my place all because of love. What a painful exit of such a beautiful soul. Can love be this powerful? Root died. Root died for a brutal murder like me, a killer. malicious killer, a notorious arm robber, a worthless being like me. My heart bleeds. May I so rest in peace. She chose to die for you. She chose to die for an arm robber who is still living today, committing more atrocities. Well, let's go and kill that man and go collect our money. I need a light to move. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, no, which get busy with this one now? You never get sympathies at all. Okay, tell me now, what did that old man do when you want to make sure she didn't kill him? Hey, wait. Madi, what did they do you? See, coordinate yourself. What did they, 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 Victoria, you leave my daughter to die under your seat! But with none, and you expect me to keep quiet! I want you to go in there, release her, or I invite the police! Now! Release her now! Dr. Wilhelm, I'm expecting and waiting for you to do it. Never. Because I, Victoria, will not release that girl. It's better I die than. Why, why are you this stubborn? Listen to that and go and leave my sister. She has been there for over a week now without food or water. Don't even change of clothes. David, I know that your father has taught you in many ways to at the slightest opportunity to de disrespect me. But let me tell you, you are now in So why don't you go here? Use your power as a man and break that door that I, Victoria, locked. Let's see if hell will not be lost right now. Victoria, you are putting lounge into your hands. Yes, you claim to be educated. Go to India and release my daughter before I find the place. You will be in terrible mess if I put a call five, five minutes away from the police station. You will be taken to the police and that will be your end of your And I said, I will not release her. Oh! I will not open that door until she denounces her stupid feelings towards that local orchard. What is your business? Choma is a cruel lady. She's at liberty to choose whoever she likes. Choose any kind of life she likes. See, I've been keeping quiet. I've been purposely keeping quiet. If you don't release, I will break that door. No, I will break that door. Go and release my sister. Ah! How dare you! David, I said, how dare you touch on me like that? Are you insane? Have you lost it? Is something wrong with you or you are wrong with something? Ha, ha. Mom, let me warn you. If you ever raise your hands against me ever again, I will tell you that you're not my mom. Eh? Yes. So it has gotten to this? Okay. That I will not. Just, just, just look at me. Have you not been here when this woman will be telling me that she's not my mother? I'm not apologizing to her. Let her release your man. What is it? Why is everybody keeping quiet? She's not doing it anyhow. She's done whatever she likes. You see the outside in this house. Victoria! 
Okay. I want to ask you for the last time. Are you saying you don't have hands in the kidnap of Mr. Udoka? Papa, stop putting words into my mouth. I, I've, told, I've told you this before. I don't have a business with that your Ichi Udoka. He has not done anything to me now. After all, I, 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 I don't blame him for, 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 for dating Choma. He didn't force her to date him. Matt, you have to tell your father the whole truth you know about Udoka's sudden disappearance. Because the Zoha has ordered that deities be brought into this community and placed in every strategic place in this community. Mama, stop. And you know the penalty attached to that. Mama, stop embarrassing me with this, your accusation. Stop it. Stop it, please. I just made it clear I don't have a business with the two Udoka. It is um, Choma's father I have a business with. So stop these accusations, please. I don't like it. Okay. Let it be. Okay. Let it be. But I want you to understand that hmm, the community is sitting in respect of this person. As we are still on call from the strange caller named Alligator, we heard gunshots and cries of pain, so we rushed to the incident. Please don't be distracted. No, I'm not distracted at all. So as we got to the incident, we we discovered a lifeless body of a man named Smalley. They say he was gone down by one of the uh, gang members. They were arguing. They were arguing whether to eliminate Udoka or to keep him alive in the den. But we have arrested the two remaining kidnappers and they are in our custody now. So we saved Mr. Udoka. On the interrogation of kidnappers, the kidnapper, they mention your wife. She is the one that give them money to kill Mr. Odoka. Because he pregnanted your daughter. Can you imagine? Mom! Uh, uh, is your mother aware that you are pregnant? Yes, Dad. As a matter of fact, that's why she locked me up and said that the baby in my womb would die of starvation. Hey! Victoria, you are an antichrist. Devil incarnate, Dad. Devil incarnate. Don't say that to me. What do you mean? I, I, I was only trying to, 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 to defend our daughter. Eh? I, 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 how can this little orchid, this old heart, get her pregnant? How can two of them marry? It's not possible. Victoria, I need, I need you to keep quiet because whatever you are saying now is being recorded. I hope you are aware. Uh, uh, Chairman, please could you tell me the reason you were rejecting young suitors that came your way? Dad, it I wasn't... stick to Udoka, yeah, who is an old man. It wasn't intentional. What? I love Udoka and Udoka loves me. Dad, he pampers me. All I've ever gotten from the young folks is nothing but heartbreak. They use me and dump me. And most importantly, I find peace in him. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, Jenny. What is hmm? <coughs> Udoka, do you possess the qualities I've mentioned by my daughter? And are you promising me that you will take care of her? Yes. Anyway, step forward. Anyway. Today I'm giving my daughter's hand in marriage to you, eh? believing that you will take care of her, cherish her, and love her. In addition, I am going to give you five million naira to start your new life. Papa! Papa! <laughs> Papa! 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 Yes, I'm going kill you. Officer. Leave my hand. Stop dragging my hand. Sit down, officer. No, none of you should touch me. I'm not afraid of you. And I'm not even afraid of you. No, 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 no. You will see what will happen. Look at what you do. You are not going to marry my friend. You are a 
I know there isn't a G for this love. I know there isn't a G. Now my happiness is here. Now in my want to. Anything where they like you, made them talk. You see, for this love, no going back. I'm in love, oh, I'm in love, for oh, this is love, oh, no going back. I'm in love, oh, I'm in love, for oh, this is love. Oh.